What's up, everybody? It's us back at it again. Welcome to Absolute Pandemonium. We got Rob, we got Vocab, and of course, myself, the Panda of Pandemonium. Uh, let's just jump in because it's a lot. <laughs> yep. Touch all. Um, who wants to go first? Anybody got anything specific they want to hit? Well, might as well start off with the what we were just talking about before the show. I might as well start with the anime list. I me, mean, first of the month, and it's fall season, so you know what that means new anime yeah. on the horizon. Yes, yes. And when we say the list is insane, the list is insane. Bro. insane. Uh, we got what Chainsaw Man. We got Spy Family Part Two. Reserves. Uh, Bleach is back. By we got My Hero Season Six. Yes, sir. This so. Oh my God, October is looking beautiful. Oh, October is definitely going to be an amazing month for for anime. Um, I'm so. So happy, a lot of stuff, a lot of big boys are back, a lot of not of newbies, a lot of them, a lot of ones been riding for a while coming back. You still got the ones that still yeah, running back along back that you would have thought were like we thought they were gone. You know, Thanks. like some of these that are coming back are like, Yeah, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna do this because. It's gonna be much simpler for everybody if we run it from here. Let's switch up and let's go to our opera screen. As always, good old opera. Um, if you do not have a myanimelist.com account or net account, you should definitely get one because that's what yes, we're gonna say today. Uh, it keeps you informed. It keeps you. You can put which anime you're looking for. So it you for. It'll send email updates for it. Uh, the whole nine. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to. We're gonna zoom in on this for you all, so we can make it zoom look, in, baby. A little zoom bit. In. And when you see the first six, you're like, wait a minute now. Damn, you know. Let's make this bigger. All right, so starting off today. Man, it made me move my screen. There we go. It moved my screen. <laughs> we we two, we two of the big ones premiered yesterday. <laughs> I am with the screen. That was my bad. <laughs> um, so the 12th, we got Chainsaw Man coming up on the 1st. We have Spy Family Part Two. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I haven't watched that one yet. I haven't yeah. watched it yet, but it's there. That's you should definitely watch. watch the first season. It is it has all kinds of wholesome vibes and assassin badassery. So and spy badassery. You can't you can't be mad at badassery. <laughs> like you, cannot. you, you can. can't. You can't. Uh, uh, on the sick. Uh, also on the first, we got My Hero Academia. Sixth season coming out. Very good. Opening was very good. Ending was very good. There we so. go. There we go. Mob Psycho, which if anyone if y'all know me by now, y'all know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mob head till I yes, die. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you are. Mob Psycho three. I cannot wait. I mean, like this man's ability. I just need him to learn how to focus it without the countdown. The day that that happens. I just want to see. I just want to see that one day. It could. They can end the series on the day he realizes how to use his powers on his own, and I'll be okay. <laughs> I would be okay. Um, Speaking of which, uh, if you guys watch RDC World, they dropped Anime House Part Six, and Mob yeah. makes a Mob makes an appearance. Oh, I have not seen it yet. So Mob, they put Mob in there. So oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, I just got a question. Did they let him go 100 in the first episode? That's all I want to know. Uh, he did, 
Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Close. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, RDC World, their, their anime house and their uh, cartoon house and anime house are their series are, are epic. And are, video game house. And video game house. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's right. They did have the video game house. <laughs> yeah. So mm-hmm. that was, those were hilarious in my personal opinion. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they did an amazing job on that. Uh, to Your Eternity. Another one that they could have left it at the end without without a second season, but the fact that they're doing it, I got to see what they're gonna do with it. Thanks. Like to your eternity is is one of those. It's a heart wrencher. Like you gotta you gonna have to sit there and actually you can't watch that on the fly. Like you gotta actually sit there because it will it will drag you in and invest you. Within the first episode or two, so uh, Blue Lock. I've heard about this one. I've heard it's supposed to be the Kuroko version for soccer. Mm. It's supposed to be Kuroko no basket for soccer. What's so, it called? Blue Lock. Yeah, this is. I've heard about this one too. This is uh, from what I heard is very good. I love fucking yeah. sports anime. Yeah, and they, like this is supposed to be the soccer version, but Kuroko's basketball. So the powers, all of that. So I'm I'm looking forward to it because <laughs> I love Kuroko, and yeah, you had you had the uh, what is it? What did they used to say? They unlocked the, the unlocking the gate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let it get in the zone. Yeah, there we go. The zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember him standing in front of that gate trying to peel it apart every time. Like that's, that's why I say. Oh, mm-hmm. um, what else? I'm not sure. I've I've seen Uzaki Chan like an episode. I heard it was pretty decent. It's a it's a small. It's a it's an edgy definitely. But I I personally wasn't into it. I heard it's good though. So those of you who are, who are in fan of that, that's coming out. Actually, just came out yesterday. Uh, on the fifth, the Eminent Show, which I actually have not heard of this one. See, so this is great heroes and diabolical villains are the types of characters that we, people long to be, but not see it. Kagano, he longs to become the true mastermind behind it all, pulling strings and having machinations drive the entire story. In his previous life, in modern day Japan, he was not able to achieve his goal, but now reborn into the world of magic. Oh, wow. Who's that? That's him pretends to be just another average mob character. He recruits members of his fake organization, Shadow Garden, aiming to take down the mysterious cult that lurks in the shadows. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, that sounds looking great. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Yeah, this is going to be... It's a plenty of ad-libs. Sid leads his fake organization against the foul yet surprisingly real Dia- Diabolos cult. So this man is about to become the mastermind of a whole fake syndicate to go up against the real actual crime syndicate. Right. <laughs> Only in anime would you come up with an idea like that. In anime, that bro, but that's supposed to release on the 5th. It's supposed to be 20 episodes long. Uh, nice. So that's going to be legit. Um, Bleach, like we said earlier, that was mm-hmm. the, on the 11th. We've already said there's going to be, what did we say, it was 52 episodes long? Yep, 52. Yeah. 52. So that's been released. This is another one of my favorites. Welcome to Demon School of Rumacoon. Season 3. Oh, yeah. Facts. Looking yes. forward to that. The way, they, the way that they stopped Season 2, I can't wait for fucking Season 3, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been like this real timid I'm just a nice guy. I'm just a nice he guy. And he's finally up, bro. Himself. He probably about to turn up. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, look. <laughs> so it's about to be released out in the streets, huh? Yeah, basically. Oh, it's about to be from simp to pimp real quick. Like, oh, you yeah. saw that. You saw it happening at the end of season two. Yeah. Like, yes, sir. Episode, just went, like, you saw the light bulb just click. Oh, uh, word? This how we doing this? All right, yes, Like, that was exactly what happened. <laughs> So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, definitely can't wait for that. Uh, let's see. Twenty-one oh. episodes starts on the eighth. Um, now, as of September twenty-eighth, now I have seen this on like my Crunchyroll. Haven't gotten around to watching it yet. I reincarnated as a sword. So the person was reincarnated as this sword, 
that's wielded by this chick. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure exactly the details are behind it. Let me do a quick skim here. Hero defers from your standard otherworldly protagonist in that he is reincarnated as a sword. Beginning his quest by spawning in the middle of a beast ridden forest, he encounters an injured girl frantically fleeing, fleeing for her life. Saving her from her trailings. Where'd it go? Oh, okay. That sounds kind of interesting. The girl introduces herself, she bears a heavy pass, having endured enslavement. And she becomes his wielder, basically, and they embark on an epic. Hmm. So, sounds like a little bit. Sounds like kind of sounds like Soul Leader a little. Give me a little Soul Leader vibe a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Soul Leader vibes. I can see that. I can rock with that. That is definitely yeah. That I can see that. Uh, yeah. This one here is a Urusi Yatsura, the 2022 anime. I have not heard anything about this. It looks like it's an older manga, though. 46 up. It might be an older manga. I mean, 46 episodes. That's a lot compared to a lot of the others on the list here. Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, let's pull it up here. Let's see. Pull it up. When it came out. Aired sources manga. Okay. When did it come out, though? It's first airing now. So this is, it's new. So it's new. Okay. But when did the manga come out? That's my question. Yeah, it might be a completed 46 episode. That might be a completed series, honestly. Right. Yeah, I know we like to get down to the bottom of stuff. Y'all yeah, bear with me. <laughs> manga search. This is the other reason why I like this, because you can literally go... You can search manga, you can search anime, it'll pull up, and it's a pretty in-depth uh, catalog of of anime and manga. Get so, you on my anime list, bro. Uh, here we go. It came out in 1978. Ooh. That explains the style. That totally yep. explains the style. Hey. August 30th, 1978 through January 21st of 1987. Like, that's, no, that's, like almost 10 years, nine years. that's not a bad run. Not a bad run. 366 chapters, 34 volumes. And 46 episodes. Hmm, that sounds about right, depending on how the, depends how the show is. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. So a tiger-skinned, bikini-clad alien follows you to school every day. Oh, that's, that's going to yeah. be... Mm. I already know where that's going. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know where that's going. That looks like it's going to be interesting, though. That could be. That could definitely be interesting. Okay, oh. I'll keep my eye on that one. See if it pops up on front of us. J and M Vaga teleporting in. Here, the whole what else plane here now. Got, I'm the villainous, oh. so I'm taming the final boss. Oh, really? So we're just jumping straight to the end, and. <laughs> Coming I mean, back. I got bad feedback. Hold on, I'll grab it. Okay. Oh, All right. She said, she said, I'm just going to tame the final boss and then go from there. I mean, if we get to, that point, get to that point, that's all I want to know. Like, do you There we go. She said, take off the hat. <laughs> Damn. What's up, Monty? What's up, Monty? How's it going? Uh, what if we got a bad haircut? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's yeah that's gonna be interesting let's see here second season of kantai collection can cole it's a military school slice of life okay okay yeah. coming in november golden camoy you, you going too far we stuck in october right now we ain't worried about nothing in november october is what we're talking about we're well, saying october how did that third one end though i thought that was almost done what? Have y'all seen up to season three? Say what? For Golden Camoy. Yeah. What about? I haven't it? seen none of it. I thought the third season it was like it was almost done. I thought I can't remember how it ended. I can't remember how it ended either because it's been a little bit. But it's been I a little bit. Coming yeah, up on the third. I thought they was closing it out. Of oh, November. This no, like tomorrow. 
Oh shit! What? Yeah, the fourth season comes out tomorrow. Well, you know we on that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely check that out. If you have not seen that one, that one's a more. It is definitely historical. Got like that historical vibe. It's more serious. Um, but the storyline is legit. Like you got a soldier who didn't really desert, but deserted, and you have this like basically priestess from one of the native tribes. And yeah, it's it's some craziness. It's some craziness that ensue. Let's see here. Shinobi Noitoki. What is this one? After surviving the attack of rival Koga clans. Toki in the ordinary board discovers that he is the 19th heir of the ninja. And he learns how to be a ninja. Oh, great. Lovely. I love ninja. Another ninja. Another ninja anime. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, look at how he's dressed, though. It looks like he clearly looks like he's in modern day. You know what I mean? Like modern society. So. Hmm. Nah, it wouldn't be like that. <laughs> that would be dope, I'll, but I doubt it would be like that. What? I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a Super Sentai. <laughs> oh well, I mean, I'm looking at these flashes of color with these people's faces in them, and it's kind of giving me like uh, my hero vibes. Oh, so dude, I can see that. Business, you know what I mean? And or so, Avatar, like, or Avatar too. Right, or the Avatar, right? When it's coming out, October four. Okay, this might be what? another one to keep an eye on. What day was that? Beast Tamer. It's coming out. Beast Tamer Ren. Oh, Lord. Wait, when was that day you said? It's coming out when? October 4th. Oh, that's a great day. Oh, that's a great day. I wonder what happens. I don't know today. why that's a great day. I you was know? wondering. What you mean? That's it's really the best day of the year. <laughs> Better so, than Christmas. You got to throw this out there. For those of you who don't know, we're probably going to try to do something in chat if we can get him for a minute in our Discord. Maybe do a do a quick uh a quick I don't know a quick video uh, watch party or something like that for him. We should uh, all like, watch One Piece, ass. huh? We should all watch One Piece. We should all watch One Piece. I'm with it. We should all watch One Piece. Even money. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special day. So special day. Jay's birthday. Yes, is sir. My ace is Earth Strong, baby. So. We'll, we'll we'll definitely try to do something on the fourth. Uh, I'll make sure I put that up on uh, either on the Twitter. Or the, uh, uh, we might have to do something this weekend. And maybe uh, yes, just got a house. Yeah, okay, I'm back. That's not fun. <laughs> so like for the whole month of October, like all we're doing really is packing and moving because we can't leave this apartment for sixty days. But we're still gonna move our stuff over there for the end of October. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Makes sense. I would not be there if it's hey, like hey. that is so okay. disrespectful. Okay. I mean, it's for a birthday, but I mean, I see how it is. I do. I can respect that. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? I've somehow gotten stronger when I improved my what? My farming. Uh, okay. what? That's so dumb. <laughs> that is what it is. So it as he maxes out his farming skills, everything else oh, goes up. I mean, don't that remind you of something though? Like I was gonna say, but I said me? Lives, he did that same thing. Standing on a million uh, lives. Yeah. When is Bo Fury coming season two coming out? We haven't gotten down that far on the list yet. Is it I know I thought it was supposed to be this month. Let me see. Oh, it's another Gundam series coming. Oh, it's another oh, Gundam, yeah, Gundam series. series. I'm ready for ready. that. Married couple, not lovers. What's this? Peter, oh, Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. That was a good one. I didn't know that was gonna come out with a second season of that. They got a new mobile, you got a new mobile suit, The Witch and the Mercury. I'm interested. I'll watch. What up, G David? Yeah, Peter. Here, what yeah. else? I thought I saw something for a Detective Conan spinoff. I thought I saw that. Yep, so, Detective Conan. Oh, yeah. The culprit season two. That's gonna be hilarious. Cool Doji. When is season two of Ranking of Kings? That's what I'm waiting on. All mm-hmm. Hell King Boji. That that's not you know that ain't gonna be that soon. I don't care. All Hell King Boji, the greatest anime here. Crazy. 
Yamamusha yes. pedal limit break. I'm I'm here for that fifth season. Oh, I'm definitely here for that. They ain't saying no anime I, I, I have on my list right now. We said a bunch before you got here. I was I was already I was watching. I was watching. <laughs> Berserk, the Golden Age arc. Memorial I already Edition knew about that. Day. Yeah. I gotta check on that. Move Love Alternative Season Two. Move Love. I think the only thing I'm like looking forward to in October right now is My Hero and Chainsaw Man. Yeah, My Hero was earlier. Yeah, love the new in- love the new intro for My Hero. Yeah. Yeah. You know I ain't watched it yet. Yeah, I ain't watched it. Yet. So I think that's everything as of right now. I mean, everything else is continuing as normal. Yep, you got your Bortles in One Piece, your Shin Chan. Wait, that's still on the air? I just scrolling down this article. That's still on the What's air. I didn't, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Wow. Yep. God, God bless. <laughs> Shin, Chan is, Shin Chan is one of those goats <laughs> as far as time yeah, goes. That's an old yeah. Thing too, bro. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. I get Yo, it. I know what I want to watch for the watch party. What's that? Anime House. Episodes one through six. All of them. Oh, we all. all we, of them. Oh, all right. Hey, it's your birthday. Hey, why not? Birthday. I'm winning, bro. I don't think I watched all of them. I don't think I watched all of them. Oh my! I just watched them all because I missed the third and the fourth one because I didn't see them when they came out. So I watched good. them all. Yes, I'm so ready for seven now. It, it, yeah, it's gonna be a while. It, yeah, I know it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be next year, but they have a manga. They have an anime coming out. Yes, R- RDT sir. World. Yes, sir. They do. Yeah, they got it. Bro, they own it, bro. That's how. I, it. If you didn't know how RDT World started, was Mark and um, Atheon <laughs> wanted to write their own manga. They wanted to create their own manga, and that's how like the whole thing kicked off. Oh, that they explains a lot. To, like they were trying to shop it out and stuff, and then it kind of like became them doing skits about anime and stuff, and then they blew the fuck up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they had a lot and of like, it, videos. It was hilarious because when I started back watching them, mind you, I I, I didn't see three or four, and I had five say to watch, and I found out six came out. I'm for to watch it. And I was saying that I was watching, okay, we need some women in here. The episode five, I was like, okay, now we got the women. <laughs> Nigga, episode, nah, episode nah. six, women, bro. Yeah, I, I know some certain cosplayers I follow was in LA. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. they got some baddie baddies in there. I was like, oh. oh. So much this this last one. Like, they, they introduced some some, the last, the, in five, but six, like everybody in there. They was name dropping in six. Yeah, it's some fucking name dropping in the city. Speaking yeah. of which, let's go ahead and get the, the customs out. So today I did it a little different. Today's drip is not anime, but Marvel. We Black Panther in it today. Always and forever, Black Panther. Okay. And we drinking on. Can y'all read Cap- that? Yeah. Oh. I paused my game to celebrate Juneteenth. We got okay, two- I need that shirt. <laughs> I need a shirt like that. We got some Bacardi again. And today, go wrong with that. I'm on my Caribbean shit, so we chasing with coconut water, not ginger. Mm. That's, one thing I do love. That's one thing I do love about Jamaica was the coconut water. Oh, my God. That was good. Oh, my Lord. That was some good. I can't do coconut. I don't like coconut. Then. If, if it ain't coconut shrimp, is it? <laughs> yeah, can't go with one that coconut water. If you're in Jamaica, please get you a coconut water right down there. You're missing out. All right. So, oh, sorry about that. That was a bit loud. I apologize. Um, updates, updates. We have not done a good Pokemon update in a while. So, uh, Rod. So what's going on? on the, let's see. We're still waiting anime-wise. We're still waiting for Ash versus Leon in the anime front. So we're waiting on that. 
and then Pokemon Unite just dropped all this. So they got that October Pokemon coming out. Mm-hmm. So this is something that's been going on for a little while. It's a public test beta server. But you have to have your um, VPN set for like India or somewhere like that. You can't do it in like the States or Canada. You have to have a VPN switch specifically to that region okay. to play this server. But usually this is where they'll use this to test out Pokemon, change stats, test um, change stats and everything. I know one of the more recent updates did a, a big buff to Blastoise, surprisingly. That's one Pokemon got a huge buff with Blastoise. Mm. So it might be something to keep an eye on, Pan. I know you like Blastoise, so it might be something to keep an eye on for you. Okay. Blastoise, yeah. I'm still getting used to the new power with him. Got some of these bigger body Pokemon that's getting body, like with the quickness. <laughs> that should not happen. That's right. Yeah, he's a bulky water. So that don't even happen in the regular game. So. Right. But like I said, they have the upcoming October Pokemon. First one's going to be Clefable, another Gen 1 Pokemon. Okay, okay. Gonna be, I think, I believe Clefable's a support is gonna be support. The surprising one, honestly, I didn't think I'm surprised which form they use for this. Honestly, Zoro, they're using the regular one, not the one that was in Legend Arceus, the original one. Ooh, okay. I, I thought they were gonna go, they did Zoro. I thought the I thought the Hisuian form would get the we get the job, but it's gonna be a I think this is also another speedster, too. But Zoro's gimmick is camouflage. It can mimic, so it can duplicate a Pokemon. So you better keep an eye on who your teammates are. You might think it's your teammate, and it could be Zoro trying to sneak up on you. So that's going to be his gimmick. Oh, that'll be interesting. And then Sableye is a third-gen Pokemon. Sableye was one of the first Ghost and Dark type, too. Mm-hmm. I believe he's going to be a defender, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to be a defender. I mean, I get it, but I don't see... Sableye makes sense for October, Halloween. I get it, a ghost Pokemon. I get it. Don't get me wrong. That Zoro, too, I get. Clefable just seems a little out of left field for the month, but I'm not complaining. Out of these, out of these three, the only one I might get is Zoro, honestly. And Clefable, I like playing support, so I might get Clefable anyway. But Zoro just seems unique. I haven't tried um, S- um Scyther yet. I don't think it comes out till next Tuesday. For us normal people, for us people who don't want to, who want to, who who do not want to spend gems in the game. So, right. I've seen some people play with it. I don't know. I can't tell. Looks like that's what it looks like. Yeah, yes. fifth gen- yeah, it was like the fifth generation's Lucario. That's probably the best way to describe it. He was like one of the mascots for fifth gen. Yeah. And he has a camouflage. Like, it's kind of busted when you're playing in a regular game, too, because he'll mimic a Pokemon on your team. So if you know his moveset, you can probably match up your <laughs> Pokemon to his moveset. So that way you don't know who it is. But the gimmick is he once he gets hit, he, his disguise is revealed. He's kind of like Mimic You. He's like the early version of Mimic You. Mm. Which I'm kind of surprised still isn't in United as Mimic You, low key. But that might be coming. Nah, because it's too much like a. It would be too much like a like a baby Pokemon almost. I would think. Mm. I can see that. You know what I mean? And they got that thing about the whole baby Pokemon thing, so. I got a feeling they probably won't. won't yeah, I mean, yeah, but I said no other new Pokemon rumored after this, so I don't know who's next after these three. I well, mean, this November, will take us through what? December? November. It's in November. It's in, okay. I, I doubt mean, they yeah. put anything else out the rest of the year, though. Just honest. You might get two or three. I'll be honest, maybe two or three. Because rumors, there's also a rumor going around them tri- really trying to make it more esports like League of Legends. So there's going to be, from what I've heard, there's going to be a draft mode coming in probably towards the end of the year, early next year. So that's why I'm adding so many Pokemon now. Hmm. So I don't like I said, I don't know if you guys play like League of Legends or Smite, but like you can ban certain Pokemon for not being played. Like you don't like Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff, no Wigglytuff. 
Right. You don't like someone playing Memo Swan. Well, that sucks for me. <laughs> you? I, mean, I want to. Can't keep up with it. I'm just saying. I can see. I can see. I can see people being petty and, and like barring Gen One Pokemon. I can see some people being that petty. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I, I get it, but yeah, that's, that's, yeah. There's right. some po- there's some Pokemon fans that hate the first Gen now. I don't know why. It's like they're like hips. Like, oh, I hate Gen One. I hate Gen One. I hate Gen One. I'm like, why? If it wasn't Gen One, that's too. And then they don't know no better. Yeah, they hate you. You know, like I said, we had to. I mean, it wasn't for us playing those games back then. You wouldn't be playing now. So, way right. I feel. we blew that shit up. Yeah, and then Pokemon did have to move it along. They did have. They did release another Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. I don't know if you got that picture for Wigglet, um, Panda. Do you have that? Uh, yeah, Wiggly. And then one last thing for Pokemon Unite. This is something I noticed today. If you're playing standard form, they brought back the original um, board. So you can play with the new board and the old board in um, standard. I just noticed that today when I was looking earlier. I know some people were missing. I know some people were missing the standards. So they brought it back for standard now, the OG board. But yeah, the new Pokemon Wiggly, and it's not Diglett. It's not Diglett. Yeah, they, they put this Wiggly in here. Yes, sir. We actually have sound now. Look at that. I know, right? It's amazing. Whoa, whoa. I do not like this Pokemon. Wiggly out here, boy. It's a water type. So this is Wiggly that they're going to be adding to Scarlet and Violet. So I'm guessing it's um. I feel about it personally. I see what they're trying to do because I, I just because I keep up with the rumors. I kind of have an idea. I don't want to go too far into detail, but go for it. I mean, yeah, because it's because the main thing is the whole theme seems like what it's going to be is just like divergent paths, like different types of evolution. Wiggly might be, if you know your biology, a convergent species. So it might have been based on Diglett, but as it evolved over time, it became another species. You see that in um, the wild too a lot. So I got a question for you then. Going along that that line of thought, do you think? they will do a game where they take all of Gen 1 and then just do a whole divergent. That I could see that possible. That, that would be funny, Gen that 1 and Gen 2. Too. I do Gen 1 and Gen 2 together like, I, like that. Of like a water Charizard. Mm. And how fire Ooh. that would have been. Okay. You know what I mean? Or like it, a it would not be fire. It would be water. It would be, be scaling. <laughs> Right. Skill. You know, or like guess, a fire type Venusaur. I mean, that, type Blastoise. Like, instead of cannons, he's got like lightning rods. You know what I mean? Like, Ew, that's crazy. Right? They can do no, anything. I mean, really that's the thing. It's just you never know what they're going to do with this franchise. I mean, Pokemon almost has a thousand creatures right now. Think about it. You're almost at the point where if you want to go remix Pokemon, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I know some people are like there's too many Pokemon, they're getting too high. They're like, so they can always do new Pokemon, they could do remixes like they've been doing original for so, the last couple of generations. I'm surprised that we haven't had no Pokemon. Well, take me one, if I'm not mistaken. Fusions. Fusion? Yeah, just one. Um, Kiram. I yeah, that's the only one I could fuse with other well, Pokemon. Two then. Two then. Um uh, S- S- Slow King. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could count that. Yes. Oh, Technically, cause it is two Pokemon in one. True. Yeah, but the first Pokemon there were, he wasn't well, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you think about it, 
Yeah, they sure. just slow, King, slow King and Slow Bro are two Pokemon technically. Yeah, right. And Slow Bro, Slow King, and then even in Galar they had the Galar Slow Bro and the Galar Slow King too. So they kept the line. So I mean, it's not surprising, but I mean the the big gimmick. I mean, think about the gimmick is Terrasalize when you can change the Pokemon to any type depending on that Terrasalize thing. So yo, what if they had a Blastoise with uh with Kinglers? In his like launchers. Oh, that would be. Oh, that'd be like. Oh, that would be kind of cool. But that would be. I feel different. like if they were to do like the fusion thing, it would have to be something like um Mega Fusion. I mean Mega Evolution, where they go back to the original state. I don't think they'd yeah. do it and just keep the Pokemon like that. No, it'd have to be like a like a certain turn. Like only can last like um Gigantamax or Dynamax only last three turns. That probably what they should have did with Mega Evolution too, Loki. It's, yeah, probably. If they do bring, if they ever bring it back to the game, maybe just keep it a three turn limit. That's maybe something a compromise. Be like, oh, megas are overpowerful, but if it's only for three turns, then hey, you know what I mean? Like, you can't get mad about right, it. You only do it once per round per game, and you get it for three turns. Then True. it becomes just a tool that you put in there. Um, Is there something else to think about? I mean, especially, I mean, and I keep saying this, um, the way I mean, megas are always going to be in some way, shape, or form in the franchise. Masters have enemy ashes using it in the anime. It's not like it's gonna go away because you want if it was gonna go away, why would you bring these? Why would you keep bringing back the same old stuff? Why would you keep bringing it back up? Personal thought on it they need to up the number you carry on you. I would say eight, but I see what you're trying to, I see where you're going there on that one. I can see eight, ten might be pushing it though. Maybe you can have ten and just battle with six at a time. Maybe something like that. I could see. <clears throat> nah, I'm more so like. So my thing was always, you've got all these evolutions of different types now. Like for example, Eevee, right? So we got all the different evolutions of Eevee. Before it was just the three plus Eevee, right? Then we had, then we got the Espeon, Umbreon, and then we got you know the Glaceon, Sylveon, the all the whole nine. So it's what now eight. Nine of them total. Mm-hmm. They still there's got more to come. There's more to come, right. and more to come. So, like, my thing was always like, "Yo, I would want to keep." This is just me being, you know, greedy, I guess. But like a pack of Eevees, like I would want to roll with a pack of Eevees. Hell yeah! I feel like Eevee should get like a normal evolution itself. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Just like I mean, a bigger a- Eevee. There's been plenty of fan art for that, like for the remaining types that are left yeah. that Eevee can evolve into. I mean, I know we yeah, showed Eevee some can. a while back, so yeah. I mean, the yeah. fan art's there. Eevee, Eevee could just, I mean, if there was ever a time to kind of semi retire Pikachu, this Eevee would, be would probably be, Eevee would probably be the best bet if you want to do hey. more evolutions. Well, yeah, just, 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 just to be a butthole, let's just say the normal Eevee evolution is Arceus. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> evolved <God>. okay. <laughs> just, just the moment you finally it. evolved and evolved to the next Arceus. Only one Eevee can evolve per century. But it'll be interesting. They're gonna come out with new evolutions eventually. It has the genetic combination to be anything. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I like I said, honestly, I thought we would have got a steal on a poison type Eevee with Gen 8. Honestly, I thought and I thought I don't know, but it made sense considering the Era or the type of flow with Galar would make sense to have a, a steel type, maybe a poison type, mm-hmm. fighting type. That's yeah, it'll yeah. like it'll it, it, it come one day. It'll come one of these days. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when they decide to pull the pull the plug on that. You Evie's just never the secret know. to the Pokemon history. Evie knows everything. True. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. I mean, I'm trying to think of any other Pokemon news. Like I said, that Wiglet. I know people are divided on Wiglet, honestly. Some people like it's lazy, and some people like I get it if you know evolution, it makes sense. Diversion evolution. That's a that is an actual factual thing. Right. Like, that's what I'm like he Evie had the ability to be, he has the genetic code for everything. So what if he was like one of the original Pokemon? 
wouldn't be surprised. Like Evie, Mew, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe we'll get a game one day that explores that. I mean, they did Legend Arceus, which I still got to beat, by the way. That's a, it's surprisingly like it could have been an Eevee. Yeah. Could be possible. You just know. I mean, look at yeah. Now that you say that, if you look at Espeon and, and Mew, they do kind of look alike a little bit. The tails, everything is like the naked bro yeah. of, of, of EVs. Yeah, but I mean, the gimmick with Scarlet Violet is kind of like the whole evolution. They're kind of going back to something fourth gen was doing with evolution, but now we're going more divulging. I mean, another rumor has been paradox forms. This is I'm not going to bring this up because this might be the rumor. Certain Pokemon might have a past form and a future form, and sense. one and one of my favorites is actually rumored to be doing this Don fan. So that'll be an ancient Don fan and a future form of Don fan. Hmm. Mm. So maybe the ancient one could be like a rock type, probably. Actually, the future type being maybe pure Ooh. steel or something like that. I don't yeah, know. It would, but... be, it would be an evolution from probably from rock to steel, like the the processing of the of one one mineral. To right. next, you know what I mean, uh, or something like a what was it? Is it coal? Tar, the the tar. Um, Lava. Forget, no. forget his name. Oh, Grimer? No, not Grimer. Oh. Um, honestly, if they do an ancient dawn thing, I can see it being like a like a ground ice like mammal so on. I can see that. Like I could see like Mammalzon and like ancient ancient, Mash, um, ancient Dawn fan and Mammalzon being rivals back in the day. I could kind of see that. Ancient Zubat final evolution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throwback. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Gogglesheet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Him. Turning into something that was like a diamond Pokemon in the future. <clears throat> oh yeah, I see where you're going. <clears throat> You know, like take the actual if they're if they're doing that, taking the actual aesthetics of science and from one state taking it to the next in the future. Especially since they got that test Tetris, whatever they call it again. Tetralize thing. Yeah. Yeah, they showed an example. It's funny enough you bring this Pokemon up. It has an ability called Steam Engine, which Mm -hmm. If it's hit with a water type move, its powers go up. So I know one of the one of the clips they had was with this Pokemon. It terrestrialized to a water type, then it got hit with steam engine. So not a lot of damage, but it got the boost. So right. Oh, so you do a tag team battle with, and you surf and hit everybody on the field. He gets a boost. Right. Pretty much. Right. See, I'm peeping. I'm peeping. As a competitive competitive for Gen Nine is going to be very interesting. I'll tell you that much. It might be very interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know the story. I want to be the very best. Like yeah. me and everyone. <laughs> yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think the next World Championships, in which I think the Gen Nine games will be used, is in Japan too. So. Oh, you know, people are probably go ham for a free trip to to go to Japan for championship. Let me get it. I want to go to Japan for free. You gotta get the switch. You gotta get that switch. Get that OLED get that switch. Get that shit. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There's nothing else Pokemon related I can think of. I know the animes. Go left Ash finally, from what I heard from the latest anime spoiler. So he's not gonna be there to watch Ash fight for the championship. So that's kind of sad. That's kind of no, messed up. Yeah. Um, go. He's not gonna be like Ash has nobody rooting for him in the stadium. That's all right. We'll, 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 we'll go bounce. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be somebody that root for him. It's just somebody he don't know. It would hey. be cool. If, like Misty and Brock showed up for the champ for the championship match. That would be cool. That would be uh, really cool. What's the other guy name? Uh, Tristan. Was it Tristan? What Tracy? Tracy. Yeah, he should show up too. Tracy OG. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, I don't know who's gonna show up for ass in the championship. I mean, the rumor has it that Leon has a turn of this, so <laughs> they always try to screw Ash over with these legendaries. I swear. Hey, look, I know we keep bringing them up, but I ain't gonna lie to you. In anime house six, this nigga Ash gets hold, bro. Hold, bro. Ash <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that clip. I haven't yes. seen, I didn't, I didn't see oh, no clips. Bro. So it's not just Pokemon that be hoeing Ash out here in the streets, bro. Everybody hoeing Ash, bro. 
Even Yugi, man, that hurt my feelings. Why yo, you doing Yugi, like that, Yugi? Yugi was like, I don't know. Like, I put you on. I and nigga said, I don't know you, bro. <laughs> Damn. Anime patrol. Even the anime house is anime patrols. It's horrible. Oh, and this nigga. And they hold Sailor Moon, bro. Disrespect, mm. my nigga. I was mad at that one. I ain't gonna lie. They used to at least stand up for us or something? Nope. Damn. I don't, he wasn't there to stand up for her. No. It That's what cool. I thought would've, that would have been cool, though. Yeah, that would have been. Like people were like, like, wait, why do you say stand up for Sailor Moon? Like, oh, if you don't know who the manga cause are, it would not it would make sense. Thanks. That's it on the Pokemon front. Like I said, another well, a couple of weeks we we're a couple of weeks out from Scarlet and Violet, so <laughs> might be some more trailers, might be some more stuff, but okay. like I said, okay. that November 18th is gonna be here before we know it too. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. We're gonna take our time, take it slow. Yeah. I we're know, skip but- it October. Well then, well, then yeah. slow it down. Though. You already know that's gonna be like the conversation of the night. What is? What's that? We'll into a couple quick uh, news blips. So for one, Snoop launched a YouTube channel to help kids learn. Oh yeah. Social emotional skills. That's um, good. I have not been there yet. I'm interested to see what this is gonna look like. But knowing Snoop, he's a, actually a really good teacher. Da, 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 da. Low key, low key. Tell you how to talk to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got that football league, and then he was just on. Um, what was he just on? Um, celebrity, not a celebrity fan. He was on one of the celebrity games. I can't remember which. Oh, Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. He was just on there. He was, and he also just launched a comedy special on Netflix and oh, brought God. back uh, my nigga Cat. Oh, well, that's as he should. As he should, bro. There's only one more person I want to come back in full force, and that's Eddie Griffin. Yes. Where has he been? He been hiding out for like a minute. Now you, now you said that. Oh, oh he's living his best life. It's called, it's it's called Doggy Land. On the 25th it's anniversary of. It's called what? Doggy Land. Mm. Okay. No, what? What I'm you know, Imani? I know she's not saying no to it. Just so y'all can see it while y'all talking. Mm, we can't, we can't. Yeah, I don't know about our friendship. You talking about no to Eddie Griffin. That's what I'm saying. I hope that's what it's going to be. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Come on, pups, it's time to roll. Let's find a seat. High five, come on. We got blocks a lot. Yep, yep, and rags all aboard the bus. Let's head to class. Wait, that's kind of wait, wait, wait a minute. That's kind of wild. You did, man. You ain't no Eddie Griffin. You did, man. You good, dear. We ain't saying Eddie Murphy. We said Eddie Murphy. Wait a minute. That's kind of cool. Wait a minute. It's all ages because it's so influential, it's so educational, and it's so fundamentally smart. The way we put it together with song, dance, and education. I was like Backyardigans and Class of 3000 had a kid. I was, I was right, the that I've right. He's the big brother, mentor, with, looks with after Dolly all the young pups. Great director, great singer, but most importantly, he's a phenomenal rapper. And you know the kids love rapping. So when he takes the lead and starts it off, they love to follow his lead. And he makes it fun, he makes it cool, and he makes it easy to learn. So Bow Wizzle is a Bow great Wizzle. version of Snoop Dogg. Great version. Bow oh, Bow Wizzle, I love your braids. Yeah, I wish you Bow Wizzle. Wizzle. Thanks, but if you had braids, we wouldn't be able to see those big, awesome ears of yours. That's right. We're all different, and that's what makes us special. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. You can just be you. In doggy land, and definitely like Mike. If I had kiddos, I'd definitely let them watch this. Land for the kids Make to sure the bow whistle. Those with little ones or got nephews and nieces, you know. We, Mike, look, we, go, we gonna be seeing kids crit walking to school singing it, right? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> oh lord, someone, some kid might get shot because of sea walking. Oh lord, can't do it in Cali with well, their parents, probably tell them we're probably school them. Oh man. oh man! And she said no to yeah. both the eighties, nigga. Dang. We're not paying her no attention. You know she don't like One Piece, so we don't trust her judgment anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's different. You gotta but respect other people's no. opinions now. You hear my whistle? 
I can respect the one piece. I cannot respect Eddie Griffin. <laughs> she probably think D.L. Hughley funny. No. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nah, wow. 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 That's, a, that's a record right there. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't don't say nigga, he was the king of comedy. Your play. I mean, anybody explain that to me. Listen, I don't know how that man was the king of comedy. I just think he was at the right place at the right time. I think so. <laughs> you know what? Hey, what's the old, what's the old uh, saying? Sometimes I mean, it's better to be lucky than good. I so, think Eddie Murphy said no. That's why I think he was a king. He said Eddie said no. That's yeah, like, I don't want it. Well, you got a little scene. Yeah, you, you talking about Eddie Griffin? No, nah, we ain't. I don't. Mm -mm. I mean, but honestly, right. I mean, D <laughs> well, yes, sir. Hunter, Hunter. Yes, sir. We talked about a little bit last week. I gotta say this, and I don't know if this next image is gonna is fan made or for real or not. Okay. But my boy didn't grown up. Yeah. Oh, they got the glow up. Oh, they got the glow up. I see. Oh, I didn't grown up. up. You gotta have to, you gotta zoom it up so I can see because the live thing on. Gotcha. And he cut the hot top fade, bro. Okay. Okay. Gone, no. grew up. I mean, put your camera up. Gone like oh. got look like he could be Deku's brother or something. There we go. He do. Like, he do. Like, like Deku could be his little brother or something. That looks good, but that's fan. That's I, know, I know, I know. I'm sure it is. But I'm just that's saying. Our style. That, I'm going to need, need Gone to be looking like this. I need him to be in his teen years. Like, no more kid Bro. gone. Like, oh, we can't do that. You know then uh, then Isoka will be irrelevant. Go no, no, it won't. No, it won't. Because I mean, well, it's okay. Goats, if, years older. Well, if Goat and Trunks can grow up, everybody can grow up at this point. Right. Nah. <laughs> Goat ain't grown up yet. Can we? We're not talking about mentally. Look no, we're talking about body wise. We ain't talking about metallic. That's a whole different story. Uh, well, they, <laughs> Goat Tinks ain't grown up yet. We ain't seen a grown Goat Tinks. It don't okay. count. No, I said Goat and Trunks. I said both of them. No, I said Goat Tinks. Oh. Yeah, we oh, okay. If we seen the trunks, we seen the go team. We still meet the go teams. We made them relevant. Nah, we ain't. We can't do that one. Go teams don't make them relevant. Do go they teams don't make them. They gonna keep, it. They gonna keep uh, that. You know they gonna keep that till later. They just they got there now. They, they can make go to the trunks if grow. If we gonna get the the older trunks and go team, then we need the older go tanks. I'm not right? disagreeing. What I'm saying is they are gonna hold that out for us because they just we just got. A good Gohan. Listen, how many years has it been? It's no point of holding it because they're obsolete right now. Two hundred and fifty-two. They're obsolete. I mean, go to well. They kind of in superhero. They kind of explained it. They said, "I know they said this. I know Gohan had a line in Super. It was like, well, Saiyans stay little and then they just grow up, and then they have a a super growth spurt." I think Gohan had mentioned that somewhere in the movie. Yeah, because Goku had a growth spurt. Gohan kind of had a growth. I mean, we was at, we actually watched Gohan grow of sorts. Right, right. Okay. But but Goku, he legit, he legit had like a super growth spurt. Yeah, because he, he was Dragon Ball. Yeah, because he was like, yeah. The, the yeah, Nicole Nicole was, was, was like fucking mad. Was like eight to like twenty five and right. The yeah, yeah, like if you like like if you know the behind the scenes about like like all the editors for Dragon Ball were against growing Goku up, but Goku was like when he took on Tien the first time, he was like 16, he would be like 15, 16. Yeah, they're gonna keep him immediately like Krillin. <laughs> but then Tori oh. hey, nah. I'm here. I still say how about no to him, but the idea I would not mind. I'm like, loving I kinda, it. I like I would not mind. And I know I, I know you said what? Do you see what this actually is though? You said I'm loving the hair. Do you see what it yeah. actually is? I can't see it. What is it? The guy who played Dragon Ball in that no, movie, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. He said he he was, yeah. yeah. That's why I said uh, no to him, but yes to the idea. Then you said. Yeah, I figured. I figured. <laughs> The nigga who played Goku in Dragon Ball Z wants to play him again. If you mean Dragon Ball Evolution? Evolution. You mean Evolution? Yeah. That one. 
Okay. Yeah. Kyle, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure Sean Shim was still playing Goku. No, the movie. No, the movie. The movie that don't exist. Yeah, that shit. The Bruno. Yeah, he, you can't. You can't. You can't play That's something if it I don't exist. The movie. Right. You just say the nigga. No, tell him <laughs> hell no. <laughs> no, but I mean, it, I mean, Disney technically has the distribution rights for Dragon Ball in the U.S. because of the Fox acquisition. That is a, something a lot of people probably don't realize. But what's, what's, what's his name on Twitter? I'm gonna go tell him hell no right now. Justin, <laughs> it, bro. Justin Chatwin. Justin Chatwin. Go tell a nigga hell no. Here's my question. Go do tell a nigga hell no. We have the technology to do a good DBZ. We did that too. To do it better than what it was. No, that don't take much. I mean, you got the CGI I technology. Mean, you could do it. Like if it yo, was some Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You yeah. saw what we did with Sonic. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Amazing. All we like, need is the right people mm-hmm. in the right place. So bully the whole company. <laughs> True. True. Do it and like Shyamalan do it. What up, T four? But honestly, like to get back into this, like if Disney wanted, yeah. if Shueisha gave Disney the right to do their own Dragon Ball story, I would not mind. If it's dra- I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. I wouldn't say Z. I'd actually do Dragon Ball. I wouldn't even touch Z. I would do Dragon I Ball. I feel like I feel like Dragon Ball would be easier than Dragon Ball Z. That's fact. That- but if they do Z, mm-hmm. let me be Vegeta. I think Kevin already has that. <laughs> you're too tall to be Vegeta. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are too tall to be Vegeta. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. Your hair's not long enough. Nigga, I could grow that shit, but no, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> well, that's Tyler Perry looks now. <laughs> if you're Vegeta, then I'm Piccolo. Uh, that's fine. Or Broly. That's fine too. Okay, no, so that, no, I can't. They might get mad. Want to do a Dragon Ball movie, or like what director? Director? Um, hmm. I'm not Wait. good with director names, but I'm good with movie. <laughs> get a Jordan Peele just because <laughs> he'll black the cast out. He'll black the cast out. He'll black the cast out. Black the cast out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a director, but are we doing it live action or is it CGI? That's that's. Live I mean both combination. All right. Shit. Um, so kind of so we're thinking like Sonic then. Okay. I, I, was, I was gonna say Sonic because I mean, did you see Super Sonic, bro? That was crazy. That was. I didn't think Super Sonic looked that good in a live action setting. I, even I gotta admit he that. Amazing. I know y'all are not gonna agree with me, but I say Cameron. Then don't say it. Then don't say it. If we ain't gonna agree with you, don't say it. I'm, I'm gonna keep. Nope, no, 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 okay, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep talking so I can't hear you. So what do you say? say it, but don't say it. Don't hear him because he's gonna say well, something well, foolish. He said Cameron Diaz. Oh, we just say Greta Paltrow. We're talking about right. You really? We're talking about the way the the. The species looked, and the number of species that are in Dragon Ball. You have to admit. I mean, short of Feige, who else would you put on it? So oh, simple. Oh, the Avatar? people, the people who did, the people who did the Pokemon that. live action movie. That's what I put on it. That's them too. Nigga, John Singleton. You talking about blacking out the cast? <laughs> John Singleton. You know what? Let's do the right thing. Spike Lee. <laughs> no, no, we are not. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 Jay's on to something, wait, Jay's on to something, <laughs> what if, what if, what if Spike Lee did a, let's just get this straight though, Goku be wearing the next colors though, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, I was gonna be, the, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna, I'm just saying though, it ain't that far. It ain't that what I'm saying. Wow. Oh, Spike Lee and Goku attack. You know what? I can actually you see that. I had another idea. I- I'll throw it, it out anyway. Vogue at a point, but I'm going to, I was going to, you explain Spike Lee. What if Spike Lee, I'm doing this more as a comedy type of, ha ha type of thing. Right. What if Spike Lee did a freezing, a freezer origin story movie? <laughs> okay. Now that would be funny. Especially with them dropping Black Freezer. Like, like, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even mad at that. <laughs> yeah, but Maybe I mean, look, teenage personally, characters, Dragon Ball school days. You say <laughs> Dragon Ball school days? Yes, sir. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Dragon Ball, do the right thing. 
make the right wish. No, what if, no, oh my god, no, wait, wait, we're on to something here. Wait a minute. What if Spike Lee redid Dragon Ball Super Broly? <laughs> Uh, he said, I can't be a piece of chunks. <laughs> but no, but honestly, I mean, if you were, if Disney ever did, if this actually comes out, if this comes down, honestly, I hope they do CGI more than um than um live action. Even get Pixar to do it or something like that. I can see Pixar doing like a nice CGI version of Dragon that. Ball, but not Z. I know most people want Z. I'd rather have Dragon Ball because I think Dragon like, Ball with the effects Ball. would be better than than Z. No offense to Z, but I think Dragon Ball would be the better Ball story. Was more hands than anything. You actually, they was right. throwing Dragon hands. Ball. Was, you know, they, they was boxing, bro. Like when, yeah, when they started Ball, throwing beans, yeah, when, when they started bro. throwing beans, that's when it's like, okay, it's about the, the fight's gonna end after this. Yeah. I would look. You know what? Can we talk about that though? The that means we got in Dragon Ball. Oh yeah. <laughs> or even my ace. that's my ace, <laughs> bro. What them niggas was boxing, bro. Like Dragon Ball, that's the thing. I don't think a lot of people appreciate Dragon Ball. They appreciate Z, but they don't pre yeah, uh, appreciate bro. Dragon Ball. Like I would do Dragon Ball. Like I, I wouldn't even touch Z because Z's too iconic in the West. Dragon Ball, you could probably take a little bit more liberties with it, honestly. Then if you like, if, if a Western studio was gonna do, it, it'd be okay. better to do Ball and Z. Okay, uh, casting call. Okay, I'm Vegeta. We're not, we're not worried about Goku right now. No. Who y'all got playing Bulma? Race does not matter. I'm saying that now. Race does Kiki not Palmer. matter. Nah, who, Kiki who, Palmer. Do who, who do y'all feel you know, no, I'm not mad the at Bulma to her abilities? Hmm. Young Bulma, I gotta say that young Bulma, because I got two different people who can play Bulma throughout the years. I so we going young Bulma. We're doing Dragon Ball. We're sticking strictly Dragon Ball. Also, right. oh, we're going sixteen year old Bulma then. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You know, actually, no. I have to see. I haven't seen her act yet, but you know what I'm thinking of first pops in my head. Actually, who that? The girl who pl who's playing Ironheart. I don't know. She's the first one because she's young. I'm thinking young. I'm thinking young. That's the only reason okay. I'm just thinking okay. young. I'm not I just, yeah, I'm just, like, like that's what I'm just thinking young. Character? I'm thinking young. I'm thinking young. I'm thinking like they could play a teenager. I'll throw this one as a ha ha, but Bianca Lawson. Ha, I'll throw that as a ha ha. But Bianca, who's Bianca Lawson? Bo Let me see Zendaya, bro. Who? Oh, I like that choice. Are you talking about um um Beyonce's sister? No, no. Zendaya, she just played Mary Jane in the. In the oh, I know who you're talking about. He said yeah. Bianca Lawson. Oh, no. <laughs> she's been a she's been a lot of stuff. You'll see why I picked her. She was in Pretty Little Liars. She's been oh, in. that's Beyonce's sister, bro. No, that's that's not her sister. You want to bet? I don't know. You like don't I, bet, that's her stepsister. That's her stepsister. Bianca Lawson and um Beyonce's. Their parents got married. That's her stepsister. Oh, I didn't know that. Me neither. But yeah, I can see. I, I, can, I, I can see her. She she old as shit, but she she can play a young character. She's like forty oh, uh, something. You know who I want to see come back? Um, Zoe Kravitz, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zoe Kravitz. I, 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 will, I will put her. The, I will put her in the Z Boomer if, if we brought her back. I could, I could do that. I could do that. No, nah, because, you know, she didn't do bad in, in the X-Men joint, bro. She didn't. Sorry, y'all. I tried. I was trying to get the the hands fight with a... Oh, you trying to get boxing? Something. You trying to get yeah, some boxing? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Which okay. one? Which 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 match were you looking for? The uh the one when they was in the tournament. The first the first time they was in the tournament to get against each other. Um, who? Who? Right Goku back. and Tien or Goku box, and Krillin? That's a good box, bro. You which one, which one are you looking for? Goku versus Tiana or Goku versus Krillin? Krillin. Krillin oh, let, me let me see if I can find a YouTube clip real fast. But y'all keep going. I'm going to see if I can find so, who, you say, who, who did you say, Vocab? I said Zendaya. Zendaya for the young okay. one. For the young one. I, I, can, see, I can see Zendaya. Uh, so let me, let's see. So Krillin, mind you, they do not have to be a midget. CG, we can CGI that. We can. 
Curly. Well, we also don't want him too tall, though. Like five, I think five six is a five, good like, five. Yeah, he's five five Krillin five. Krillin's just a short dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, then whoever you have Krillin could play Krillin throughout the whole series too. Yeah. All right. So who are you thinking? Because you could have a I, grown, a grown man play Krillin. Krillin. You can. Oh, I think I might have found it. T force out. I should volunteer for Krillin. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> okay, we Ooh. got T for his trilling. T N. Okay, check the um, group chat, Panda. Got you. T N. Mine. He he is a villain in Dragon Ball. Yeah, he is. This is mm. before he. Yeah, this is before. So he we we just we just can't you know like side. Ah yeah, before him. he becomes a Z fighter. So um. I don't know, probably an unknown. It, it probably have to be an unknown, maybe, or maybe a wrestler could play TN. I don't know, maybe an unknown Who wrestler. Or something. Unknown. Uh, Urban. I would Cole say. Urban. I would say. Um, Cole Urban. Okay. Who that? Who that? Uh, the dude who was in uh, Thor Ragnarok with the guns. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Uh, I was thinking more. Mind you, we got we got to go a little young. Yeah, because that's that's it, Dragon Ball. So um, it was it was somebody. It was it was the UFC fight I was just thinking about. What are we doing right now? Tn right? Yeah, Tn Tn um Triclops. <laughs> you piss sure. That is loud. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, that was loud. I'm trying to think of a good person. Like for the future, I was saving Diesel as Tn. Nah, but they too old. They too old. Honestly. I said for the feet for the Z beyond. I would you say said Vin Diesel. Diesel? Yeah, it's yeah. I ain't mad at it. Here you but go. I, I'm not. I'm not. You talking about Z though? Yeah, we talking about Z and yeah. GT and all that. No, Do right we even see T and GT? No, I think he had a cameo. So it's been a I was about to say, I think he like popped up real quick, but he didn't have like he maybe in the Super Seventeen fight, maybe. But I don't know. It's been too long since I watched GT. Bro, I just wish they they I just want them to bring the fucking Super Saint 4 from GT, bro. That's all I want. Bro. That is the best this, that is that it is I, the best bro, you transformation it makes the wall, most sense. You ain't gotta tell it's on my that's wall. The only bro. thing that I want. That's it. A lot of people want Super Saiyan 4, wait, wait. but it's a different timeline. Like I it get it. I know, I get that, but I want, still I want it, bro. It's, I want Super Saiyan 4 and the baby arc, and that's it. I'm you know what? Can, I can see that as a movie if you if you want to do a past super maybe epic. That's a way to do that as a movie, probably. I won't be surprised. You could probably do that. You could probably do the baby arc as a movie. Probably wouldn't get Super Saiyan four, uh, but if I, I had power, I, I would redo on uh, the dragon art. I feel like they had something, but okay. they dropped the ball with it. Thank you. That that's another one. GT yeah, a lot really, of who did we choose for TN? We didn't choose nobody. Oh, okay. TN's a tricky one though, because I'm, th I'm thinking, I'm thinking like I want someone who could like, because TN is older than ever. He's an older character, like he's a yeah, he's like, like 19 when they meet him, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Like he's already an adult, so like whoever you play, whoever you has TN has to be able to play TN both in Dragon Ball era and Z and Super. So if you're gonna go that far, that's the thing. Like I don't know, maybe it could be a martial artist. It could be a uh, uh, MMA fighter. Well, no, I said a UFC fighter. For yeah, TM I mean, for sure. I would say George Saint sure. Pierre, but he's kind of small. What about ooh? If we're gonna go that route, what about um? What's old oh boy? He he's a he's a lightweight, real slim. Always got the braids with the with the thing here. You ride favor? No, not him. I like him too, though. He's he's like. Only a couple years he been out, but he been fucking shit up, bro. Hold on, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, look that up. Yeah, and that. The other thing about Dragon Ball, this is what, like I said, two top three animes with best hand to hand fights. Dragon Ball's one, Naruto is two, in my honest opinion. Hand when it comes to straight hand to hand, when it comes to fight choreography, Naruto and Dragon Ball cannot be beat when it comes to like straight hand to hand fight coordination. Mm. In my honest no, Outcast. 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 Kenichi. 
I'm going by what I've seen. That's what I, said. I said in the top three. Like I said, that's in top three. So. Uh, Kenichi, Kenichi is up there. I'm sorry. The hand to hand. That's Kenichi. a hard. Like I, I would put Kenichi against Naruto. Not gonna lie. Uh, I'm talking strictly hand to hand. No special techniques. No, I'm. I'm yeah, just have no hand. Technique. They're, they're hand to hand straight. Okay. No, that, that's what I mean. I'm talking about just straight hand to hand fight corner. The choreography. I that's what say I mean. Baki, but it's just a lot of that stuff is like unrealistic. Yeah, B- uh, Baki's more boxing too. You so, outcast, haven't you? Huh? Have you seen the Outcast? I have not. Me either. But he said that hand to hand. I like nah. Once Kenichi started learning how to fight and all them hand to hand. Oh no. Okay, yeah, that's one I gotta watch. That's one I gotta watch then. But it is the the fan service is ridiculous. But once you get to the hands, it's like okay, I see you. Like honestly, one of my favorite anime fights just because the coordination is Kakashi versus Obito and Naruto. I love the the coordination of that fight. I love the coordination because they literally relive their life fighting. Here you go. Bring it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was that's okay. It. Okay. Okay. Sean O'Malley. That's his name. So. Oh yeah. 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 That's oh that, that, that's, that's a team. Good. Oh that's, that's clean. Team. Oh, that's clean. Oh, that's that clean. I'm, I couldn't clean. remember his name, but I'm like, bro. Okay, this is this. I'm talking like this is the type of fighting I like seeing in anime, like stuff like yeah, this. You gotta, watch, you gotta watch this series, bro. It's called the Outcast. It's, it's legit. Hey, oh, God, high that. school was God that's High School good. was decent until they started like accelerating the, the story. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I like the power. I just feel like they accelerated way too quick into the powers. They did. Yeah. They see. That's the thing. Like most. Like most. Uh, fighting once they start doing energy beams and stuff, you can you can mess up the whole flow of the show too sometimes. Right, and see, watch this. You see how he's still hand to hand. He really hasn't pulled anything out yet. True. Like I see the elements, but it's just like it's just there. It's just a flash. Right. I don't know if it's the black in me, bro. I just love when niggas box, bro. Like, this is why I know a lot of people. I remember, like, I remember reading um Naruto's manga, and we got to like the end of Naruto versus Sasuke. I kept in different groups. I kept coming. I hope they get to a point where like they're out of chakra, they have no more power, and they just go straight hands. And when they did that in the manga, I was so damn happy. I was like that. I wanted that. That I wanted that from jump. I'm like, let them run, let them go through all that flashy shit and then the run out of gas bro. and straight fight. Straight up. Let me see the fade, bro. Straight up. Bro. Like Naruto and Sasuke oh went God. at it. That was one of my favorite fights. Like when they ran out of chocolate. Oh, yeah, where fucking Naruto loses his arm. That fight yeah. was so fucking epic, bro. Hey, so um not to cut y'all short, but I was thinking about the next character. This Ooh. is just a joke for Master Roshi, and I was gonna say Morgan Freeman for Master for Roshi. Roshi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freeman, Roshi. Nah, you, you know. No, like, you know what? Wait, 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 no, listen, hear me out. Morgan Freeman for regular Master Roshi, but when he bulk up, it's the rock. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> okay, yeah, we know that. We know that, bro. The anime didn't do oh, yeah. no justice. Better in the comic, bro. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> The anime oh, is trash. You talk about we talk about speeding something up, bro. Got a high school anime, like literally jumped. It literally like chapters at a time, bro. It was like when I watched it, it was like okay, episode one, okay, episode two, okay, episode three, episode four, twenty one. I don't know what the hell. bro. What this, made it worse? Like, to a monkey. I literally had finished reading it. Right when the anime dropped, so like I'm like I know the story based on how they really wrote it, and I'm like, so first off, you covered the first like 27 chapters in the first episode. How are you gonna drop 27 chapters in one episode, bro? Whoa, that's bad pacing. That's awful pacing. I, I was so, bro. I so that fight that oh the the main character has. That fight doesn't show up until like chapter fifteen. The one at the His end. First fight where he oh, beats wow. the, the where he beats the bulky mm-hmm. guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that fight happens in chapter fifteen. Bro. Wow, well, that's bad piecing. Yeah, see, they doing too much. He doesn't even meet the girl until like chapter six or seven. Oh, speaking of which, though, 
Oh, funny yeah, enough, we talking about. Our team. I'm not mad at that, Daniel Yen. They I'm finally finished the the mind walk. So just as a yeah, I was just about to say. So they just it. finished it. They just finished it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not caught up. I'm mad. Like we'll see what they do as far as like tempo. Hundred or some shit. If they slow down, there ain't gonna be no point. I'm gonna be confused still. It's like this now. man just became a god, like bro, and this there's so much more to it, bro. Mm-hmm. It better it's, not be a bunch of flashbacks. It's not oh well, you talk about the anime or the, the, the anime I'm trying to explain. Oh no, I, I they're probably not gonna drop another season because I know they got a lot of like in hate Flag. from that first season. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to come back from a crappy first season. Yeah, bro. Like that, uh, that's the thing. Off. It wasn't bad. Just the pacing just threw a lot of people off. Yeah, but because of the pacing, bro, like that shit is, bro. Yeah, so yeah, if you don't get the pacing down on certain series, you can ruin the whole flow of the whole the whole show. So and I, with good pacing. Especially motherfuckers who like read this shit. Bro. Hey, it's always good to have good pacing. That's, yeah, <laughs> this was a nice surprise. <laughs> I still see it was a nice surprise. But a show that had really good pacing. Oh, yeah. Coming. We got Kenshin. Yes, sir. We are bringing it back. Let me uh, pull this for y'all real quick. Because I pulled the... Hey, they they need to stop hurting on. They need to stop on um, sleeping on my boy Yasha, man. In Yasha, oh, truly a legend. The the last the series finale is is chapter five hundred and sixty four. Mm. I'm on like three twenty. The first blade. I want one. Me too. I, I really do want a tension blade. Man. They had one at Dragon Con, it just wasn't Kenshin's. Yeah, I, no, I want the Kenshin's. The one that could actually rotate? Yeah. But Toast Side the Man Slayer. <laughs> I mean, the animation is anything like this trailer, we're in for a treat. Right. Listen, I'm happy. I'm happy for Kenshin. I am. But if they don't go on ahead and give you you hide and show the same update, I know for sure. We know you want it, bro. We know you want it. Trust me, it's a, I, I don't a lot it. of fans I deserve it. I deserve you do deserve it. it. Look, I'm palming the ball one hand. I deserve You've it. You've been doing that, nigga. You've been doing it the whole show. Yeah, I really have. I know. I've been watching. But <laughs> Kenshin's gonna be fire. Like it is. It's, it's gonna, gonna be good. Uh, I'm surprised it took this long for another anime. I mean, because I know the live action movies did very well in Japan, so I'm, I'm surprised it took this long. And fun fact the actor who played Kenshin in the live action movies, he was also Kamen Rider Den O. Fun fact. Mm. From, wait, 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 from. Yeah, the person, the actor who played Kenshin in the live action movies, he was also Kamen Rider Den O. Same actor. Oh, wow, nice. So yeah, I like when I, I remember when they were first doing a live action movie, I'm like, oh, he has range. He's perfect for Kenshin. Because if you saw Kamen Rider Deno, because that that the actor Super Sentai or Kamen or any show or not, when you have to act like five different characters in one show, that, that takes some talent. That takes some talent to do. I'm not gonna even lie. Right, a little more, a little more. <laughs> a little more. A little more. There you go. That's good. Yeah, but man, fun fact, like the person who played Kenshin in the live, yeah, if you people, if nobody knew, the the actor who played Kenshin in the live action movies was also Kamen Rider Dino. So, fun mm-hmm. fact. Cool, cool, cool. See, to, to these niggas that's on screen, this ain't nothing. They know me. I'm a drinker. So they know this. <laughs> that's why he said that. He's like, oh, go ahead. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't be cute. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so other than that uh oh this is what i wanted to bring up my apologies we ain't doing my casting but okay we are not done <laughs> i'm just playing <laughs> go go <laughs> go Hold on. Uh. we got several people left 
back on here. We'll come. That's a whole conversation. We have to. We have to plan that. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, hey, well, I mean, but right now we just rip, improvising. It, we improvising right now. <laughs> hey, who gonna be Chelsea? <laughs> Pick a corpse. Any corpse. Uh, how about uh, <laughs> Terrence Howard? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, you caught it. <laughs> You said Chow Tzu. I mean, why would you say that? I did. I so, did. He did. He, I oh did my god, it. bro! You made me cry. Hey, you just made me cry. Though. <laughs> you know, Chow Tzu hey, don't last more than five. Everybody seconds. Everybody caught that in the chat. Let me get. Let me get an emoji. It don't even matter which one. Let me get a crying what, emoji. What that? Man. Let me get a <laughs> <laughs> you worse the ride right now. You worse the ride hey. right now. <laughs> hey, can I pick King Tutankhamen? Common? Sure, why not? He of course think about how long he's been gone. I mean, well, Susan oh, Debbie, was, I don't know. Should it really go forever? Uh, came on. Larry the Cable Guy's Ox King. <laughs> I am better at that. The guy here is Azox King. <laughs> wow. All right, new topic. Is all I, I, I was just going to be making joke castings. Uh, I'm not. All right. I mean, these joke castings could actually, we need lunch. Money is lunch. World Trigger. Trigger Worlds. Third season. Season Ooh. three. Drops. Into Picked up. That was the other one I wanted to see. I didn't. I, I don't, don't care. I don't care about it. In two days, it, it's not relevant. I'm not gonna watch it to the to the fifth. Oh, that's fine. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, this piece. Of- oh yeah, that came out of left field. <laughs> People were tight. Oh yeah, I heard about that. It made me they were, sad. They and Crunchyroll. It made me sad because Crunchyroll is my go-to. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be a maybe maybe it'll be a Disney Plus eventually. But I do have. Like multiple animation effects. <laughs> oh, I have plenty. All right, yeah. niggas will be all right. But Crunchyroll is my go-to. I like to have most of my shit there. Yeah, maybe Disney will make a live-action Bleach one day. <laughs> I hope no, no. <laughs> all right, why? Why? No, listen. Why? listen. <laughs> hear, 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 hear me out. Hear me out, dude. Hear me out, dude. I yeah. would not be mad. As long as they don't go past the first arc, but they will. Once Rookie is gone, and they don't touch the Soul Society, they just leave it right there. That'd be cool. I'll be cool with they that. They, they, movie. They're, definitely trying to they, they're gonna do. They're gonna go past it because the last movie they made stopped right there with the Grand. They're gonna try. They're gonna try to touch the Soul Society. No, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We gotta see how successful Soul Society. I rather Nickelodeon get the Soul Society. That's what we call our followers. It's the Soul Society. Subscribe. Nah, up we'll see how. So pick, I won't be surprised if, if, if the One Piece Netflix show does good. I won't be surprised if if Bleach is next. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't. I put my money. I'd be. I'm, I'll be a betting man. And put Bleach would probably be the next one to get a live action. Go get your fill of all the animes. I mean, not the animes, the poetries. <laughs> the, the Speaking poetry. of which, vocab is right in a poetry book based on anime. There we go. So, um, here anime first. Fantasy. Before we move on, I'm gonna fire my accountability partner because I have not drawn my skeleton yet, and he has not called to remind me of none of that. Don't fire me, bro. Don't fire. Me. I'm pulling oh, the wrong way. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Let me bro, my bro, that's. This but is, it's okay because it's been it, uh, a lot of stuff going on. There's been um, a lot of shit going on, bro. I just what's up, Jumbo? Fucking hurricane, bro. Like I know, man. Yeah, but um, I, I will be streaming. I will. Uh, I ain't gonna be able to remember my moving. Yeah, that's right. Well, one, once I get into my place, yeah, I will be streaming yeah, yeah. the um. Yeah, streaming the process. Yeah, we on that. We'll act, we will do. We'll activate, activate what plan Z. Yeah. 
Playing infamous. And I'm gonna start infamous. streaming DJing every Wednesday. We will be doing that as well. Yes. Uh, and hashtag get vocab on TikTok so he can start DJing on TikTok. No. no. We're gonna get you vocab on TikTok. Saying that because I didn't start it, y'all have got an extra day. If you haven't yet, go throw your favorite openings and endings of anime in the Discord. I'm making a fucking mix of just straight anime openings and endings. And the first one will be you, Hockey Show. I'm trying to hit 20 plus. We at 19 right now. We're trying to hit 20 plus. You can add more. It just can't be less than 20. Okay. There we go. You should you should YouTube links on Discord or no? Yeah, you, you that most of the people in there that that added is YouTube links. Yeah, mm. drop a YouTube link. Yeah, and that makes okay, it easier for me to be able. to <laughs> sad fine. You have blurred it. That that died with. Uh, uh, I think I think he's good on that. that end. Dragon Con. Hey, my drinking buddies here, Jumbo. What up? <laughs> <laughs> We on Bacardi tonight. Jumbo is fired. Yo, Jumbo's my guy, bro. That's my drinking buddy. He always be checking, like, yo, cute, what we drinking tonight? There you go. So what's next, Big Panda? So before we, we got more it. people to cast. Who we casting for Yamcha? Would, look, let's they ain't doing that right now. That's we be here all night trying to do Dragon Ball. That, that's a that's a no- <laughs> Wow. wow. Who said it? What do you say? We're ignoring that. And we're going to We're going to go to another topic. <laughs> okay. We're going to say, we're going to say Jay from himself right now. Red Hulk. Yes, they sir. are bringing Red Hulk <sighs> to you. Finally. <laughs> the issue we're having is the individual who played Thompson. Mm-hmm. Thompson is, that, is that his name? I always forget his name. I think so. I think it's Thompson, but anyway, the old man that always hates the Hulk. Yeah, uh, that guy. let me pull it up now. I'm mad because I don't remember it. And last time I called him General, I think it's Thompson Ross. Yeah, Ugh, Daddy. oh, Thunderbolt Ross, <laughs> Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, the dude who played him in every movie up to now is dead. Mm. Oh, yes, I didn't know that. Rod didn't know somebody was dead. Whoa! Not the Grim Reaper. You about to get fired? <laughs> I, 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 I know. I might have been on vacation, or maybe yeah, Cookie from. I think I, maybe Cookie was working that week. There you oh, go. Okay. There you go. Well, you know she been fucking up. <laughs> You're right. She always be missing something. Oh no! What was her name? Uh, Sh- Shalanda. What was Shalanda. the name? Who was it? I'm Shalanda. Was it was it Shalanda? Oh, it's Shalanda. It was Shalanda working. Shalanda, Shalanda. She be jacking everything. Hey, babe. No, both of them was working that day. It was both. Okay, I said Shalanda was working. So right. So when we were down there at Dragon Con. Vocal said Shalanda was working. Who her name ended up being Shalanda. Who cannot keep her job right for nothing. So anytime something bad happens now, it was Shalanda that did. Ah, gotcha. Yo, oh, he had us rolling for like a good two hours. On <laughs> straight, straight. Like it was like a story. I wish I, I wish I recorded it. Oh my god, it was hilarious. But so he, he's passed. They're looking to pick one to replace him to bring in the Red Hulk. Who would you all think? So we were doing, we were doing, you know, possible people to, to play people. Who do y'all think could replace him? John or Jones Jameson. Huh? John or Jones Jameson. Jameson? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. He can't. He, he can't do no, He would be the only already... person I can think of. To be Thunderbolt Ross. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of anybody. So, oh, the guy from um from um the the villain from Avatar, James oh, Cameron, right. with the scar. Yeah, with the scar. Yeah, or the dude who played right. Cable. No, they're gonna break Cable eventually to MCU. So he has to be. Yeah, they, oh, they, they, they probably gonna stay the same. 
Well, I will tell you the person they're thinking of trying to get is Harrison Ford. I can see that. Funny enough, that could actually work. I, I, funny enough, that I, I can see that. But he's, he's an older actor. Indiana Jones five. Oh. That ain't that. Oh, listen, listen. I love Indiana Jones. I do, but let it die. It is over. But he can't run out. Bo- he can't outrun boulders no more, y'all. Well, the thing is, I think he's he's supposed to. This supposed to be his last movie. Is what the rumors are. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, then. Stallone. I can yeah. see Stallone. I'm not gonna lie. Stallone, Stallone would work for Red Hole. Well, we can't. That. Oh, no, for Red Hole. No, I take it back. I take it back because I want him. To, I want him to reprise his role of Judge Dredd or one of the Dreads. I'm with that. Dread. I got, and I'm finna rewatch that movie because I love his version. You do. Dread is. I mean, Dread is a good movie. Dredd. I mean, it's a great. It's a great person. Yeah. Both versions were good. But yeah, so they're talking about trying to get Harrison Ford. No, there's nothing official yet. But just that's what's up in the air. So we need to back years after that, and we'll see regarding Red Hulk and bringing him in. Um, Wait, I got two. I got two. One, like one, one, one from Day blood. and one from me. Let me give you two. Go for it. So I can okay. Um, I was thinking if he no, wasn't retired like already, Bruce Willis. And they said, I appreciate who's the other one you said, dear? Jason Statham. TN. Oh, Jason Statham was TN. I see, it. I see where she's going with Jason, Jason Statham. Jason Statham is TN. Ooh, I thought he said yeah. Sean O'Malley. I know, but I like Jason Statham. Okay. Jason Statham is legit. Like anything he's in, I'm watching. Period. Well, like, as, like, no, do not team? say that. Do not what say that because there's one movie I know you would not watch. What? The mechanic. I watched the mechanic. That time. movie was terrible. It was still decent compared to most. No, no. Nah. I've seen worse though. The mechanic was good too. So let me tell you a little story about that movie. I've seen worse. Uh, he's looking at her like it with purpose. So somebody, we was going on a date, and somebody picked that movie to see. Okay. Uh, I watched five minutes of that movie. And I told that person the entire story of that movie and fell asleep and woke up at the end of the movie. And I asked them what happened. And they said, what you said happened. I mean. <laughs> word for I, word. It wasn't uh, I'm not like, surprised. easy to read. Yo, that movie was terrible. I didn't say it wasn't easy to read. Most movies are easy ter- to read. Ter- terrible. Terrible. <laughs> you said terrible. Even if you think that one out of an entire series history of movies, I mean, he got most actors beat. Yeah, crank and crank two like level. Uh, y'all remember the cranks? I, I oh. literally just said that literally just left my mouth. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said it. You said Ooh, remember, like, wait a minute. He was no, no, he was saying like y'all remembered it. I love Crank. Dang. Hold on, y'all. My phone. Wait a minute. I just thought of another actor for um. I just thought of another one. Now I'm just thinking about this right now. Uh-huh. I might have another. He's probably. Ret- I don't think he hardly acts anymore either. Oh, but follow. Is Nick but Kent? appreciate it. You know what I'm just thinking about right now? Just popped in my head. I don't know if he acts as much anymore. Kiefer Sutherland. Who? Kiefer Sutherland. Jack Bauer from 24. I don't know. I just popped in my head right now. I was like, but I don't I don't think he I don't think he plays, I don't think he acts anymore. You talking about from 24? Yeah. But I think I don't think he I don't think he got the height though. I don't think he got the height though. I mean, I don't think the height is a is a is big that big of a thing. So who? Shayna, yo, what up? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, no, I don't know. Okay, so okay, so- okay but I was saying maybe Kiefer Sutherland could be um Thunderbolt Worlds. Oh, th- okay. So like, I don't think he acts anymore. I think he's retired. I mean, shit, is is to get the, gritty, the gritty, the gritty army old man. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm looking for. Cause he like he had that he had that hardened military you know what I mean like gravel like 
I had to switch it up on y'all real quick. Okay, uh, you good, you good. Good. I would have said, I'm not gonna lie, I would have said, um, what's his name? What's the dude from Never Back Down? I can't think of his name. He passed. Who? Idris? No, not Idris. The, um, Idris? Idris can't be everything now. Okay. The Chandler black Chandler? guy. Oh, the black okay. Guy. Okay. The, he was the same guy. Michael J. White? Shut up. <laughs> That's one of my favorite fighting actors. You know I know who that is. He was the black oh. guy that was in the beginning of um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. And he was never back down. Let me oh. Up. oh, you're talking about Dumont, uh, yeah, oh, Dijmon. Oh, Piccolo. Now, I would don't get me wrong. I would definitely say Jamal Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not mad at I that. Yeah. Definitely say he could be the general. Off top. You know what's yeah. funny? Is it, you know what's funny that you said oh, that. I was talking about Piccolo. You know what's funny that you said that. So because we because we was in the hurricane, we lost power. I pulled out my DVD collection huh. and I watched Biker Boys. Oh wow. And he's motherland. Yep. Another fun fact about this. So when we got internet back, I watched It Man 4 because I didn't know that there was an It Man 4. And I watched it. And then because I was on Netflix, I said, let's go through the DVDs and see how much of these are actually still on Netflix. Bro, do you know I went zero for 28? And then mm-hmm. the last four hit is I went, it was four for 34 of my DVDs were actually on Netflix. 30 wow. DVDs were not there. That's a bad Kobe shooting that right there. <laughs> no, I was loving it. I was like, let's see how long I could go before I hit one that actually is there. I went zero for 24, and then I got one, and then I went another three, and then I got like two, and then I went another three, and then I got one more. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. What about Russell what? Crowe? Wasn't well, thinking Russell Crowe, but I could see it. He didn't put a lot of weight on though. I mean, Bill like, Murray. You know that he he Bill Murray too old. Old. To play who? To play uh, Thaddeus Ross. Okay. To play Ross. Nah, oh, he, what's his name? Yeah, I just have someone in my head too. Um, die hard, die hard. Bruce Willis. I yes. just mentioned Bruce Willis. I said that already. I, I didn't know my head on that. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. I just don't. He's not. A, he's like Bruce I mean, is Bruce retired. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like he's retired now. Like, unfortunately, you know, he has that yeah. that disease yeah. right now. Unfortunately. Yeah. What disease he got? I think I don't know the name of it, but I know he can't speak anymore. He has trouble with speaking movement. I don't know oh, the exact name. Yeah, that is what happened. I forgot about that. My bad, Bruce. Oh, Bruce yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why I said it's unfortunate he has that illness. But I can see him as a good uh, Thunderbolt Ross. I can actually see him as that. Oh yeah. yeah. But now I remember who I was thinking of. This would be petty, but I know there's been rumors about Hen- Henry Cavall being a Marvel character. What if it was General Ross? I'll just throw that out there. Mm-hmm. I'll just throw that out there. Well, Superman Henry. Witcher Henry. Yeah. That's It'd be a curveball. It'd be a curveball. Most people would think he'd be Hyperion or something. It'd be a curveball. He's too young. Oh, he's young? Oh, okay. He's so young? Okay. He's too young. My only thing is he's too young. Okay. That's the that's the that would be my only concern. Like you gotta have like that old man swag. Got it. You know, Ross been after Hulk since since. And then you know the what? Damn. Into Red Hulk, like <laughs> that anger is, yeah. Did we mentioned Denzel already as a joke, or even as someone? Did someone mention Denzel? No, Denzel but I can see. For for Ross, make yeah. Denzel the Red Hulk. I'm down. I'm so down for that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I am not. Mad. I mean, you're looking for an older grizzled actor. I, I, I see where you're going with this. Witty. I would definitely be down for that. I don't want to see the white tears, honestly. I will just, I'm here for the white tears. I'm, I said I'm here for the white tears. <laughs> so, okay, another one. Um, 
before we get to Deadpool is the Adam Warlock stuff. Um, do y'all remember Will Poulter? Who? Will Poulter. No, I'm not ringing a bell. This guy. Pull it up big. Who is that? I don't know that fool. Pull it up big. Let me see. I don't know him. For some reason, it all it moved all of them behind me. Ah, right, here we go. That kid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, he was in something. Paid. Y'all remember this kid? Yeah, I do. I do. Remember what that. movie was he in? I, I recognize the face, but I can't put the. I can't remember uh, the movie. You guys get paid. Was it Meet the Flockers? What was it? He was in Meet the Flockers. Millers. Uh, Meet the Millers. Yeah. That, yeah. Meet the Millers. Narnia. He was a Maze Runner. Yeah, he was a Maze Runner. This is him now. Oh wow! Talk about a glow up. No shit, nigga, glow up is nice. To me, Adam Warlock. I'm not mad at that. He, it fits. He, wow, he look, works. Look, That's really good. Definitely fits. The That's look, what he's gonna sure. be. Hey, I love when when ugly people glow up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Got the ugly duckling. I'm wrong with he that. Had his moment. Yeah, he had his moment. But yeah, my boy didn't bulk like for real. Yeah, for real. nah, he he definitely glowed he glow up. up I was I'm proud yeah. of him on that one. Hell yeah. He definitely put in the work. And, and, oh, yeah. Yeah. See? I'm not. Mm, yo, that's so. what's up, bro. Mm, good I'm for him. Man. Looking like a bulky Zach Morris out here. Zach Morris right. is trash. Zach Sorry, someone Morris had to is say. trash. <laughs> Same thing with Homelander. Yeah, I'm saying it. So, but yeah, he's going to be Adam Warlock. Who... Side note, for those of you who don't know, Adam Warlock is one of the few people who actually wielded the Infinity Gauntlet without dying. Correction. Adam Warlock is one of the few people who wielded the, the Infinity Gauntlet the most in the comics. Yeah. Like, nine, well, I'll say by seven chances out of ten, he had the motherfucker. <laughs> he had, he kept it, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, also true. Also true. So, if you don't know... Take a look into it. Uh, for those who watch Guardians of the Galaxy, when the gold, see, the gold people, as I call them, were like, "Yo, we're gonna make this person." When she was like out of her mind at the end, you saw the little sarcophagus. That She's was in there. Him. She that actually was, says Adam. That was Adam. This this beat this thing right here. Hold on, let me. And I'm not gonna add like I know about Adam. Like, I've only read one comment that he was in. Damn, he used to like. There you go. That right there. That that thing you saw at the end of um Guardians of the Galaxy three. That wasn't three. No, the first one. That was the first one. No, no, it was two. Was it? That was the second one at least. Because it was the one where they started off stealing the the battery. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The second one. It was the second one. So we we, Guardians of the Galaxy three came out yet. Guardians you jump off the when they did the Easter egg? The Easter egg at the end? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. That was the... That was two. Second that one. was the second one. I thought it was the first one. It was the, the one where he stole the batteries from them. He stole the batteries at the beginning and of that it. That was the second one. Okay. So we had baby group. Yeah. Right. Oh. They were yeah. dancing through the intro and everything. Yep, yep. You know what though? I swear I saw an Easter egg for him uh, in the first one when they did the the collector shit. That was that was somebody else. That wasn't at Warlock. I know who you talking about though. That wasn't at Warlock. No, was, it was Nova. Uh, Nova. It was um, what's his name with the fucking animal? Uh, and, uh, fuck, what's his name? The nigga who who wielded Malnir. Beta Ray. Better, yeah, better, better yeah. bill. That, that, that's what, yeah. yeah, him. That's they, 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 um, they, that was, that was, it was, was him and um, Nova that they hinted to in the in the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's the one I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. They'll get to no, yeah. I'm trying. Nova's gonna pop up eventually. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, and we'll get Howard the Duck. You know what I mean? Shout out Howie. 
Shout out my nigga Howie. Right? And shout out to She Hulk for making certain Hulk movies canon, but we'll we'll keep that. In. I was gonna do a quick shout out for that. Hey yo, and don't forget I just, Zach Moy is trash. I'm into that crazy shit that we could do. Think about this. I in a hole. So listen, wait, hold on, hold on, real fast, real fast. Go ahead, go ahead. I just thought some crazy shit. What if we did? What if we did a, just us, like us? Uh-huh. What if we did a Ducktales joint, like a skit? We put Rod as fucking Scrooge, and then the three of us would be Huey, Dewey, and Louie. <laughs> Green. I, I gotta be Dewey. I gotta be Dewey, bro. Well, we doing are we doing reboot? reboot? Are we doing reboot or OG? Wow. OG, bro, OG. Oh, uh, I thought we do reboot. Uh, uh, I want to do reboot. I feel we like do reboot. reboot. All right, we do reboot. We no, no, no. Reboot. We got to do Quack Pack. We... Nah, okay. nah, I can do Quack Pack. Okay, <laughs> okay. Quack Pack. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I gotta be Dewey though. Which one is Dewey? Red. Okay, I'm I'm green. That's Huey. Huey is red. Huey's yeah, red. Huey's okay. red. I think Huey's blue. Dewey's Dewey is blue. 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 Louis Dewey's green. Blue? Really? I see Volcat more as if we're going to reboot. I see Volcat more as Louis than Dewey, to be honest. Hey, what did I just That's say? That's facts. That's facts. You you right, you right. I do fit Louis yeah. more. I do. But Louis green, ain't he? Yeah. yeah. And that's that nigga's color. So I can't all right. yeah, I can't take it. Away. All right, now, all right. Maybe I could be Huey. Okay. I'll be Huey's the red one, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's I'm, the one. I, I never the knew their full names. I so I was just looking through them. It's Hubert, yeah, it's, and Lewis Duck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did not know his name was Deuteronomy. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, they had it in the episode. Yeah, they yeah, they did it in the reboot. I think they mentioned it in the reboot a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they I just ain't going by their, by their full names. They ain't going by their full names, which I can't blame. So, hey, the vibe play. that we have in the podcast and like in the in the group chat, and then what the three of us was on for Dragon Con, like when we linked up and shit. I I yeah. really feel like when we all are together, we should drop a skit. And Rod got to take a shot after. Yes, he has to because we had to. <laughs> That you do have to do. <laughs> oh no. Yep. <laughs> bro, I can't wait to get it. to this level, y'all. We had to do it, so you had to do it, bro. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, thanks. I can't, I can't wait till you get to that point too, bro. Ooh, Next week, you're gonna be there. Ooh, yeah, I'm 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 here for it, bro. Yeah, After he move in, like, we own that a, it's shit. Not a, it's, not, it's just a win, it's just a six weeks. You're gonna be there. Like, six weeks. So it's the first week is skeleton. The second first two week, weeks. Yeah. Two so weeks skeleton, two weeks week 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 muscles, skeleton, two next weeks two skin. Week is muscles and tendons, and then the last week's the skin. Skin and clothes. I mean, yeah. If you want to put clothes. Right. He said if it is clothes are optional. He said. Yeah, he texted me the other day, and I told him I've been going through. He said, once you get to that point where you're ready to start, let me know. Yeah, I remember. Mm. I'm glad that he texting you, bro. He said he was going to follow up, and he's actually following up. That's what's up. So for those who don't know, who have oh, yeah, let him, show about yeah, this, let him know. Jay is doing a – is it six-week? Six week yeah, six-week yeah. challenge. Six-week challenge to boost and bolster his artistic abilities. He's already a good artist. So he's already he's just done, trying yeah. We're trying to make level. him great. Right. We're trying to get to that next level. Where he can like right. really get paid off this shit. You know what I mean? Like full, full uh, fledged. Who, like I forget who y'all talk to, but they talked to an artist, a comic artist there, and he gave him a regimen to follow. And so we will be showing that regimen on the show when he starts. Yeah. Basically, he has to do a certain drawing type. Two weeks of skeletons, and then the muscular system over those skeletons, and then the clothing skin of the body over that for another week or so. He's I'm trying to remember all the joints he did. He did um the teenage mutant ninja turtles, he did black cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all wanna see one of the pictures he did? Um yeah, do the right. show the shit, bro. He cop he cop but I'm trying to remember what like made him famous and shit. Um, I know he he worked on mute the teenage mutant ninja turtles. 
he did black cat um oh i want to say he did black widow but only in like two comics so um, his name is matthew stockman there you go there you go oh trying to get yeah. the glare he did grab that Ooh. Ooh. collaboration and he actually signed it. I don't know if y'all can see it. He did, yeah, he's doing it right there. Yeah. Corner, barely, but yeah. Yeah, because it's black, so you can't. You can't see it. But he said he did that on purpose because he didn't want the, the signature to take away from the picture. Mm -hmm. So he, he did it in a way to where, like, if you're up close, you can see it, but if not, it's only the picture. Oh, that's cool. I can respect that. That's cool. But that is what we're well, we, gonna, we gonna, gonna get Jay to that level bro. in that in that uh in his journey. Yeah. 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 Jay, on as it goes we're through. gonna get me to the level of poetry where my name is up there with the greats. You know what I'm saying? Like Tony I mean your name is with mine is already great. That's facts. That's facts. <laughs> But we are we're working on that as well you know nah real shit though when it's poetry shit i want motherfuckers to think about me like the way they think about my age as far as black folks i'm with it that's a lot i'll take a lot we won't get there though. we won't get there <laughs> i might i might even come back out of retirement on the poetry uh, shit yeah i think you should bro that's how we met it is. So so y'all that right, don't know, y'all everybody knows Jay is my ace. I'm um, his ace, whatever. We're really close. But so we used to be in this bullshit ass blur group called BLC. It was a lot of bullshit, but we had our own little subsection of it, which was a riding group. And we used to do challenges like every week. And me and him were the mods for that group. And it's bullshit happening. Wait, wait. I was the creator. He was the mod. Yeah, I, so he created it. I jumped in and became like the co the co person. But like because of the group, we were mods like the whole group. And then we got kicked out our own shit. <laughs> Niggas made the shit, mind you. We got kicked out the whole shit for inactivity. Right. Even I was though trying to we get my CDLs. I can't have my phone. Well, I was posting every week, though. That's the thing. And I literally wrote a poem about how motherfuckers was reading our shit or wasn't even commenting. But the whole point of the group was for everybody to, like, work together and, like, give each other feedback and shit. So then after we left that, we created a group for, like, the guys. Got kicked out that shit. I'm still in it, but I don't really be active. But me and Jay made this shit. They bullshitted. Jay decided to slide because he was like, I ain't dealing with bullshit. I said, I'm going to stay because we created it. One of the creators got it there. I don't be active in it, but I'm a part of it. So, you know what I mean? Who got a TV on? Name me. Me. Probably me. It's probably it's probably me. <laughs> me back hey, me. Hey, Dan, turn the volume down a little bit. <laughs> it's all good. No, you're good. You're good. Chella, we love her. Yeah. Hey, they said they love you. I love you too. <laughs> well, yeah so me and jay are five years strong toast to my ace he is legitly the closest nigga that i've met online we built it into a real ass relationship and now that's yeah. my best yeah. and just so y'all know it's three aces there is three of us there is it's me him and another guy named trail who was like literally famous off this Yu-Gi-Oh shit. and 
He not as active as we are, but he's still the ace. He's know? still the ace. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> and if you're watching on Facebook, Trail, I, we still ain't had that duel yet. That's facts. So, <laughs> but we love you, though. Yeah, I'm so... I was working on my decks uh, with, with Master Duel. I know Crosslink came out a while ago. I like I played the tutorial and I never went back to it. I got it. You know what though? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Since we talk about origin stories, the way we met Rod was we was in another blur group which had a dark section of the blur group where motherfuckers got nasty and shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> you feel me? That and infamous group. <laughs> that infamous group. And then I started this bullshit where I was like, "Look at this slanging dick," but it wasn't me. Like I was like the UPS guy, so I would like grab the dude and grab the chick and be like, "Yo, such and such is going to send you a package of dick." This time, like this day, whatever. <laughs> I remember those girls. Right? Oh my legit, god, those are infamous. Legit, ones. this nigga Rod and Neek was one of my first. Like, yo, I'm sending this package to you. Blah blah blah. And okay, we back. Years later, these niggas is literally together and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about that group. Oh man, there was some infamous like about five, six years ago. There was some infamous blur groups out here. Y'all, y'all don't know. Yo, so okay, so this is for this is for the people watching. Yeah. In all actuality, if it wasn't for BLC, we all would not be here. That's big facts. Because I met him and him yep. in BLC. Yep. And I also met his lady in BLC. Yep. Same. Then me and him end up leaving, starting our own thing, end up in yep. another group where we met Panda. Right. <laughs> and it's like Panda came through and he already knew Rob from another group. <laughs> right. yep. Exactly. Speaking so, of which, I've been thinking about revamping our shit. You talking so, about the Queen University? Yes. So what y'all need to understand. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell y'all a little backstory. It's story, story time. So when we was in the writing group, it was seven, seven, seven people who, like, just got really close. Because we all posted. And so it's me, it's Jay, it's Butter Pecan, which is motherfucking Desiree. We ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> It's Trail, which is the other ace. There's Chef Wife. Adrian. Yes. There's Eyes. And then Chanel. there's Erica. Okay. I was missing somebody. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we technically are missing somebody, but he kind of just left us hanging. Yeah. We forgot about Doug. Oh, yeah, but we... We, we don't, don't talk, talk about Bruno. Yeah, yeah. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. So... With, the, with those people that he just mentioned, mm-hmm. vocab missed out. Erica, Adrian, and Doug came to Atlanta to my first yes. Dragon Con. Yeah, the first Dragon Con, I missed it. They all linked up. Just to put but in perspective. You know, I had already met Jay at this time. Yeah. Because my cousin literally lives like five minutes from this nigga. Well, from this house. From where, yeah. Not where he's moving to, but but remember, I've known this nigga for five years. So we linked up literally like not even a we, whole. We should year do an later. anime of all our backstories. So like I've known this nigga in person for over backstory. four years. Like so, I've he's been in that crib like as long as I've known him. And I was like, "Yo, I'm in Tucker, blah blah blah. I'm right here." He's like, "Oh, I live right there." I'm going to pull up on you. Scoop me. And it's, it's been a I brought him to the family crib. Like, we didn't throw parties. He was I want party. that moonshine. Like, yeah, bro. Broke bread. And as they said, they I broke bread and everything. Oh, my God, bro. We're, he still don't know, bro. He won't tell me where he got it from. And I he don't remember because he lives in London. So he's not going to remember. That's so long ago. We're anyway, gonna find it one day when we old. That's facts. Watch. That's facts. One of our kids gonna bring it to us. Like, look what I found. But, what did you find me? So, 
Back to story time. As long as I don't end up like Ray and Claw, y'all be good. I'm a Ravenclaw, so it's all right. No, he said Ray and Claw from life. Oh. <laughs> oh, that too, nigga. My wife is never seen from life. life. Hey, but Ray, you but who be Ray? Who be Claw? You gonna <laughs> be flawed, bro? Fucking toes in the bottles and shit. Nigga. Uh, I, I, I think I got the boom boom room. I think I. Nah, like, that's me. I think I. Nah, that's me. You married? Cause I'm a nasty motherfucker. No, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. Uh, if we cosplay, if we cosplay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm you statue. you Claude, bro. I, I'm ready. You Claude. Nah, I'm ready. You Claude. How I about this? We you. both Ray and Claude. Okay, I'll take that. But I'm Mike Laurie. Okay. I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. Wow. So, we ended we got here, but I'm right. so the seven of us, right, that's been vibing, we make a group chat. We're in the chat. And mind you, I've worked at every theme park in Orlando. So I'm talking about the queue of something. And this nigga Jay goes, oh, the queen? And I'm like, the what? <laughs> Oh man, but you know me, so I roast this nigga on mispronouncing it for literally like a week or two straight, and the queen becomes a thing. Like it's not even the Q no more. Now it's like the queen is a thing. We make a whole nother blur group called the Queen University. I'm the chairman on the board. We got a fucking dean, which is him. We got a fucking uh, we got teachers. We got guru. <laughs> like, Nurse Killjoy. So it is still exists. I never let I never shut it down. Wow. I do have to revamp it so that Doug is no longer a part of the, the picture. Because I made the Doug. picture of all of the people who's thing. So it's the seven of us plus Doug. Mm-mm. It's actually it is 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 somebody else still in there. Who? Because oh, there's only eight of us in the picture. The, the so, creator of BLC. They wasn't in 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 the queen. No, they wasn't in the queen university. They was in the okay. queen, but they wasn't in the I'll queen university. I'm just gonna pull it up and show you, sir. In the queen university, university. Yes. They were a yeah, part I, of the I, queen I, in the group chat, not queen university. Pull it up. He gonna Please. pull it up. Yeah, I'm in a lot of groups. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I'm not in as many groups as I want to was. Though. Listen. So the Queen University, though, here's the funny thing. When we when I made it, and I made everybody an admin that was a part of the joke, we actually blew the fuck up. Like the first day we grabbed like 200 followers, blah, blah, blah. And it kept going up, but I ain't gonna lie, like we was active for like four or five months and then we just stopped. And so niggas fell off right now. I haven't looked at it in like a year, but last time I looked at it, we had like a hundred and something people that was still good. 91 now. So it's 91 now. There you go. Which is still good for niggas ain't posting like fucking. Exactly, it's eight. That's what I said. Yeah, you was right. You I know right. I was right, bro. I made the pick. I had to literally like sit down and like crop shit to make this fucking little frame picture that I can post up as the coverage link. And the only person who's not still apart is Doug. So I'm thinking about bringing that shit back though. I think I think we should bring it back now that we got a podcast and all that good shit. I feel like having our own group would be a good move and. We already got the group, nigga. And I created it. So can't nobody be like, oh, you, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, I made, I made this shit. I made the joke that started the whole thing. And then I recruited the people. At my expense. You know what I'm saying? At your Well, nigga, I mean, you should have knew how to pronounce it. Somebody, though. You should have knew so, how to pronounce it, nigga. It's not my They go to Dragon Con photo. Yeah, there you go. So this is Adrian on the far left that's oh, cooking my bad. Then that's Doug who we don't talk about. Then it's Erica. Then it's him. And then I can't see who's behind him. That was it. That was it. 
But yeah, it was a vibe though, bro. It was a vibe. Yo, let me tell you. All right, so since we talk about this shit though, I want to fill y'all in, all the guests, all the people who was in the chat. So we did the Dragon Con and we found out. Now we heard because Panda told us a little bit, just a little bit. But you know, it's always different when you see shit versus when you hear it. So we in the we in the crib, mind you. We have we have a little Airbnb shit situation. Everybody got their own room. We chilling. Niggas is getting lit. The first night though, we're like, yo, fuck the Dragon Con shit. We just gonna go grab our pass. We coming back to the crib. We turning up, right? This nigga panda start crumping. And I'm not talking about like no, like oh <laughs> niggas just having fun, like no this nigga gets like, like he been dancing his whole life. This his shit. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, like, I should have recorded it. I said right. we should have. We did not. We did not record it. That's our fault to the fans. I know. No, you the, re- us all. the reason why I didn't do it, kind of like I want. I want to wait and um. Have all four of us together and start recording Thanks. shit. Thanks. So it's Rod's fault. It's your fault, Rod. It's Rod's fault. <laughs> it wasn't me. He's like, but I wasn't there. I mean, when I, I tell you though, it wasn't no bullshit. Like this nigga was really getting down, man. like stomp the yard type shit. This nigga out oh, here. Lord. If you ain't never seen a big man move, you ain't never seen. Me. Okay, listen. Nah, I see my my God rest his soul, my cousin Larry. He used to be a beast. He was a beast. So this nigga Panda, he take that dancing shit serious. I see it, Jay. Like Panda would have liked my cousin Larry. God rest his soul, because he was a dancer too. I used to crump too when I was young. Yeah. I threw a little couple moves out there, but I was like, this nigga Panda is going hard. We just gonna let him do his thing. He, he was doing his thing though while I was drinking something. Cause you know I don't. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I do not stop. Man, see what had happened was right. What had happened was Uh-oh. I don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you don't know what happened. I know what happened. Look, thank you, just you guys in Panda when he went gorilla mode. There you go. I know what happened. Listen, I'm gonna tell you what happened. As I said, we already established ahead of time. Thursday is a light day. We was just gonna go get our pass and turn up at the crib. We turned up. We was on five bottles. I drank a bottle of Hennessy to, to myself. My nigga had a oh, bottle. I, I was eating on that Hennessy. Yeah, he a little. Me. He had a little, but you didn't really jump on like, it though. Like I wish you would have, but you really didn't. Mm. I was the DD majority of the week. Yeah, he, he really fact. was though. <laughs> that's facts. He really was. My dude Panda was on absent and. In tequila, and mm. now if you ever had absent, you will know mm. that for niggas who don't have it, like me and Jay, we was in the corner like nigga, fuck you for this. Jay, I was cussing him out for like a whole twenty four hours. Yeah, see, like I was good. I I said, oh, this is nasty, but then I kept it pushing. So, oh, it was like Jay said. Yeah, it was Jay, bro. <laughs> He Jay, went right bro. after grabbed a cup of water and said, and I did, couldn't taste the water. I just taste the cold. My tongue can't taste nothing else but cold. I wasn't on that. I was not on that. That's, that's part of the fact that I'm a drinker. So I was just oh, like, man. dude, this is nasty. And, and they could vouch for me. Literally, I was like, ew, this is nasty. And I kept it pushing. I poured up my glass of honey and we was out there. You know what I'm saying? But after like two or three cups, Panda was like, it's time. <laughs> and that's when the whole crumping shit started. Yeah. We had a good ass time though, bro. It was a good, it was fun. It was was so and, I, fun. and I got a surprise for next time me and Panda in the same room together. It was such a great time. I said, I got a surprise for you next time we in the same room together with controllers in our hand. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like we're going to take it to Battle and Brew, and we're going to have a broadcast. We're we going to stream this. Okay. I'm with it. Yeah. Rock, I got beat her this time. Rock, I got beat her this time. I'll be the referee. 
right, right, yeah, right. Got so we had us, we had us a time at Battle and Brew too. Uh, it it ended up with some bad things for me. Because of what I ate. You Hold know? on, no, that was that was bad for all of us. <laughs> but it was, it was bad for everybody, but it happened. To me. So I ate something bad. And uh, the food was the good. Whole, was just- Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We phrased that. He ate something that didn't agree with him. Right. Him. Yeah. That's why I said I ate yeah. something. Right. That's what I said. So yeah. it didn't mess up the weekend, but it pushed back the weekend. Cause it slowed he down. originally it didn't stop it. Right. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Didn't he originally stop. was like, "Yo, we leaving the house at least nine o'clock." Blah blah blah. But because I of what I ate in the AM at all, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say because of what I ate every day, we left afternoon. Like you know what I'm saying, earlier shit was like twelve thirty, and I think that was Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah, guess who I found? I was at Dragon Con. Who? Oh. Darkwing Duck. Oh damn! I would Actually. love that. Yeah, the, the voice actor. Yeah, oh, I would wow. love that. Darkwing Duck. I, I knew it was a lot of people, but I didn't know it was the, the people who he was. I was like, oh my God. Bonkers, Darkwing Duck. Uh, a lot of people. Well, he voiced a lot of ducks. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get back on track. Let's yeah, finish let's this round. Let's get back on track. Yeah, I, got a I, was of, uh, I have a little special thing for y'all in, in yeah. the chat. A little insight to the insight. A little, yeah. Some yeah. inside baseball. Inside stuff. Sometimes we like to give y'all some inside. You know what I mean? Let y'all really know who is the people you follow. Hmm. We got the Misfit of Demon King Academy season. Bro, I can't wait. <laughs> well, I can't <laughs> wait. Thank you, Mary. If you ain't never seen it, go watch season one. You have time, but season two don't come till January. Yep. Go watch mm-hmm. season one. It's only a 12 episode joint, so it's not gonna take you long. Especially if you're a binger like us. So is, is the MC okay. strong? Of course. Yeah. But can he be bulgy though? What about Sailor Moon? No. Nigga, to you, no. Can't be bulgy. Now he not beating Sailor Moon either. He not beating bulgy not either. Beating Moon, but I mean, he he give Alucard a run for he, his money. Yeah, he up there though. Alucard can't be bulgy. I mean, you know technically, Alucard is Oaken. Listen to this nigga Jay. Can't ain't beat nobody Boji. beat Boji. Okay. Can't beat Boji. Oki can beat Boji. Oki can't beat Boji. He can kill Boji. He can't beat him though. Luffy, he, cheat, he a cheat code. He keep killing him. Luffy, he, he a cheat code. Nigga Zoro beating Boji, nigga. Boji, nope. Zoro yes. can't even beat Boji. I'm sorry. Zoro beat Boji, nigga. All hell Boji. Nah, fuck oh, that. All hell Zoro, nigga. All hell Boji. You and Zoro's green, so you know, you know that's all. You got Boji on you. Hold up, huh? hold up, hold up. Are you going to tattoo Boji on you? Go oh, wait, hold, all hold up, hold up. Are you going to tattoo Boji on you? Yes, I will. Oh, he probably I was about to say a nigga damn sure am tattoo. You forgot. Tattoo this whole sleeve is going to be oh. anime. All my favorite characters with the dragon. Yeah, but is it going to be Boji, though? I'm going to have a fairy tale emblem, Boji, Teen Gohan. I'm going to have a Dragon Ball with Go- Teen Gohan. Okay. Then I'm gonna get somebody else right here. I'm hey, I'm, I'm gonna get Zoro right here. Come on now. You no, you can't get Zoro. Who the fuck can you? <laughs> you can't get Zoro. You know it's gonna be Zoro you know, back to back. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You already you talking to Ace. Ace. Come on. You know Zoro, my guy. Your 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 law. Your law. I have the Zoro tattoo I'm already. Y'all designed. in the back room for I a second. Y'all handle that back in the back room. <laughs> All right, Rod. So anyway. <laughs> we had that other story. <laughs> oh, we did have that other story we were talking about before the podcast too. What is that game. sword in your hand, sir? Yeah. Sir, what okay, sword so, is in uh, your hand? Oh yeah, yeah. Do, do, do. Let me pull it back up. Oh, here. because mine is right there, and it's a Zoro sword. There we go. This is a law sword. Right? You can put him back in the room now. Right. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna put y'all back in the hole for a second. Shoot, right. we got stuff we gotta finish. All right, let's go. All right, so this was something we were talking about right before we got into the show. Um, Trini's Thanks. daughter, I guess, who oh. they're bringing her into the show as the Yellow Ranger for the 30 year anniversary. Oh. They're, they're playing it off as Trini's daughter, quote unquote. Oh. It, it, it um, could work. I said in the group chat, it could work. 
Ooh. And she looked like she uh, a teenager with attitude. Look at that. But it's the wording that's getting me. Like Ooh. she's like, Trini's daughter in the movie. Like it's not that she's actually Trini's daughter. You know what I'm saying? Trini was 16. So unless you like, like, oh, but she it's probably it's probably said in present I day. Up, I brought this up in the group chat. Okay, this is my thing, right? If it was the comics, I'd be all right because in the comics they kept her character going. She right. died in she died in real life before they could finish the second like bro there is no trinity bro you can't bring her daughter into the shows or movies when she's no longer here bro okay so she, she was 16 and as, as power no. rangers go you know they're not promoting no teen pregnancy but, but, uh, but it could be said in modern day just because the actress is dead doesn't mean that the character like I mentioned in the group chat they can probably mention Trini doing something or even as I mentioned maybe Trini sack we don't even know what the whole 30th anniversary season is about we already know the we know Zach and Billy are back we already know that for the no, 30th Billy season are back. be respectful to her, her dead ass but like, but this is, might just let me finish, finish my point. <laughs> let me finish my point, Panda. But um, like I was just saying, like you could just mention wouldn't be the first time that a character was killed or or the person who played the character is not acting anymore, and they brought in somebody else. I mean, I'll just use Fuller House as an example. They never, they hardly, they mentioned Michelle a couple of times throughout the whole through that whole spinoff. You never saw Mary Kay Nash Olsen, so they're not, they not dead though. But they don't act, so they couldn't use the character anyway. Kind of, it's kind of the same situation. Why they don't, here. Act, why they don't act, Rod? Because one of them on crack. Besides the point, plus we know okay. what happened with the we know what happened with the actress that played Trini. She was in a terrible car accident. That, like I mentioned, this yeah, she died in a car accident mm -hmm. just because they could just mention Trini. They're probably not going to ever. They'll probably mention Trini, but that doesn't mean she physically has to show up. Okay, so a lot of teach you would right, you could probably answer this for me because I don't okay. remember. How did they transition from Trini to Aisha? Okay. I'll combine both because I'll and I'll mention the comic what the comics did as well. In the original show, um Trini, Zach, and Jason all have to go to a pre peace conference. They did the same thing in the right. comic books. The comic books had a different reason, but in real life, it was because those three actors wanted they were trying to get the whole cast unionized, but they didn't they wanted union pay. But Saban was cheap and didn't want to pay the actors. That's how we got Rocky, Aisha, and Adam. Which oh, probably okay. in a long in, in a long run, it's probably we should probably be thinking Saban because we probably wouldn't have had um Johnny Ambaj as an actor. So that might be that might have been a necessary sacrifice. But that's another we could talk about that another day. That. But but in the comics, um, as I mentioned to you guys, in the comics, like they, they already have the Thunderstorm iteration of the ring. So Aisha, Rocky, and Adam are already in the comics. What happened is, just like the TV show, Jason, Trini, and Zach did go to a peace conference, but in the comics, that was a front. They ended up becoming another set of rangers called the Omega Rangers in the comics. Okay. Yeah, because the comics are a little bit like it, the comics has all been mighty morphing pretty much, but they've done their own spin on it. Like Tommy's already a White Ranger, but they brought the Green Ranger back. Do and it, and then it was revealed that it was another set of Rangers before the Mighty Morphin that we know. So it was a, already another team. That's how they got the Green Ranger powers back in the mm -hmm. comics. So, like I said, I'm wondering if there might be because I'm the way I was thinking about this is maybe. Her playing Trini's daughter, maybe, maybe they might retcon it a little bit. Maybe I don't know because I don't, I don't really follow the live. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, there's a reason. Like I said, all I know about the 30th anniversary season is I know the suits are going to be all original, but they're using the Zords from one of the Super Sentai's. I forget. I, I heard it somewhere. I heard it somewhere. Like one of the super sensors, they're using just the Zords, but the suits are all going to be original. And then the Dino Fury Cas is also going to be in this 30th anniversary season too. So the so the the Cas that Netflix had since they had the license will still be on this season too, as well. So and that right. Dino Fury Cas has done a lot of first for powering. They're the first. Um, I think the first. I want to say. 
LGBTQ Ranger too. I think the Dining Fury cast had that had that distinction, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And I think it's something else with the Pink Ranger too. That was a oh, the first Black Pink Ranger too was also Dining Fury too, hmm. which is a surprising stat. Which I, mean, I was like, oh, I thought we had a Black Pink Ranger. I was like, oh, I didn't think about that, but but I think I'm Let wondering you know if we get an all Black Ranger cast. I love it. That will probably never happen. <laughs> it probably won't. Like, but I'm just saying. Let's, how many? Let's, well, let's, do, do, how many? How many different Rangers do we have that have been black so far? Hard, right? We've had at least one iteration of Black, black Rangers King. throughout all of them, right? Blue. blue. We got Black, Pink, and blue. Green, um, Blue, Red. Two Reds. We had a Pink. It was a uh, green. He was uh he was like light speed. You didn't know oh, he was light speed rescue. Uh, yeah, light speed Damon. Red. That like Damon was his name. Green. And red, that's all five. Well, no, no, no. Now, that's been a wait. Has it been a black yellow ranger? I can't remember a black unless it's maybe it was Aisha, in the Aisha. Aisha. Oh, shoot. Aisha. I forgot. Aisha. Damn. <laughs> black. You just, just said her name, too. I forgot. I, 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 didn't, I didn't correlate that. That's a brain fart. I had a brain fart there. Right, so, you go pause real quick. All the ladies in the chat, close your ears. Black uh -uh. men, black men. <laughs> Black men. Uh -huh. Are we smashing Aisha? Most definitely. Yes. I uh, wasn't my take when I was that age. I'll be honest. Probably wasn't you my take. Now. You talk about now. I you know, remember what Aisha looked like? Now, I'm not sure. I don't know. She she didn't age that good. No. Thinking about We're talking about like. her. Then yeah. would you smash then. her now? Oh, now that we're grown. Now, see, that's right. an age issue now. Nah, that's no, creepy. That's, a, that's a Mark Kelly territory. Leave that one alone. That's a Mark Kelly making territory. Making her age appropriate. Right. Making her age appropriate. Nah, probably wouldn't have been my type. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Probably wouldn't have been my type. I'm gonna say no. This wasn't my type. Kind of a crush, but honestly, I was more of a trainee person anyway. Sorry. I was too. I was too. I didn't really have a crush on any of the female power rings. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I, I did. I did have a thing for Trini. I'm not gonna. Money yeah, no, the all man. black. A lot of girls wanted to be the pink ranger back then. I don't know if it was because of the pink. Probably most the pink, and not because of Kimberly, because she annoyed the heck out of me. I'm just gonna put it, <laughs> keep it out there. I hated her she little, her little uh, ad libs when she fight. Oh, shut up. Catherine was the better pink range anyway. So. So, okay, so my dog had a little squeak, little squeak hedgehog. But... Sweet. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. I don't reason a lot of people like Kimberly because they paired her with Tommy. Let's just keep it a buck. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I'm going to throw the hot she seat She was meant for Jason. <laughs> she got to... Yeah, no. Nah. But she ended up being for the streets anyway. I mean, we go by the Lord and Carl. Yo, even in, I mean, even I in the comments. I mean, they never got together. Not even the comics. I think even the comics had them end up with Catherine any damn way. Tommy ended up with Catherine any damn way. Yeah. So back to this all black Power Rangers cast, or majority black Power Rangers cast, based in Africa. And. Ray Ranger chose his Pink Ranger. Ah. I'm trying to think if you base it in Africa. Madagascar. African Zoids. You got the hippo. Jay lion. Pinky. Oh, let's see. We'll we'll go Lion King with it. Hippo, Lion, Warhog. What else? You gotta have an elephant. You gotta have a rhino. Elephant rhino. And then nah, no, they were kind of clash. No, they were clash. Elephant and rhino were kind of clash. What? Why? So they're both big bulky animals. You got two big bulky animals. So is the hippo. So I mean, they, if you think about it, Triceratops and Mastodon, it's the same thing. It'll been rhino and elephant. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And an elephant. It's the same thing. No, unless you know what, mate. Wait, no. Let me think about this. Unless they're both the legs of the Megazord, I can. It would work, but that's the only way it would work for me. No, oh, they both can't that's be the legs. The, the bigger one would be the torso. Mastodon, that's the elephant. Yeah, Mastodon was a torso. The legs were blue and yellow. Oh, so, I, I don't know. So, I don't know okay, if I would do hippo. I don't think I, I would do hippo on elephant. But that's he, just me. He, he, hear me out. Hear me out. Dude. Hear me out. Cheetah, lion, 
elephant. Okay, what's replacing what as you go through? I'm just I'm just coming up with animals. I ain't picking where they're going. I'm just coming up okay. with the animal, the, the animal pick. So cheetah, lion, elephant. I want to put hippo in there just because hippo is like one of the most dangerous animals. Nigga, but I think that should be like the six them. rangers. Um, maybe killing people. Yeah, that's gonna be the six rangers. So I'm gonna put rhino. Rock. And we need a bird. Sure, but is there is there a bird known for Africa? Actually, oh, you know what? You might you might bird from the uh, rescue rangers. Yeah, uh, emus. Huh? Emus in Australia. Ostrich would be the only thing you're thinking about. I think it's like a bird. Albatross is transmigrational. Yeah, no, actually, you did no, but if you did Africa, I wouldn't even go five. I wouldn't even go five range. It'd probably be a three ranger team, honestly. It might just be a three ranger team. Then you have your you might be able to do like the hippo, maybe the jaguar and cheetah together. You probably could do something hey, like that. Jaguar, but jaguar, jaguar don't fit jaguar in Africa. Jaguar roll out here. It would have to be cheetah. I mean, if you're going three different things, if, yeah, if it, you're it, looking at animal classes, you've got your herbivore, you got your omnivore, and you got your carnivore. Hippos are omnivores. So if you're gonna go hippo, there's that. Carnivore hippos are omnivores that want the smoke. Or honestly, Wait. Lion is your most dangerous. It probably yeah, it probably lion, it probably lion, hippo, and one other animal. I do a three I would I would do a three ranger team. I wouldn't even do a five ranger team. I would do a three ranger team. But you know, even if you do a three ranger team, guess what? It's still gonna go up to five or six. You could probably do something like um um Ninja Storm. That's what, that's probably how you do it, Ninja Storm. They like still one, went up to five or six. That's what I'm saying. You do three. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. I love one, one, three, Ninja, one, three, hey, one, three, one, three, one, three range and one two range team. That was a lit song. That was a lit low key. Power range. Ninja so let's And then the six ranger. No, if you do Africa, the six ranger will be an Egyptian based ranger. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's yeah. how you do it. Or you can do so, all of it. Basically. Replace the Egyptian Megazords things. with Egyptian gods. Uh huh. So we got Slifer, Obelisk, Ra. Not the Egyptian god Anubis. Anubis. That was Anubis. a joke. I was doing that as a joke. That was a joke. Uh, I, that was a joke. <laughs> Honestly, that was but, a joke. But, but keep that. Let those be the extra Zords. Like, um, you know how they always at the big fights? They get like this one Zord, they only get one of. Oh, the auxiliary zords. I see where you're going. Yeah, so like, wild, like wild, wild forest, like wild forest. With the villain I have on, on obelisk. I mean, on Wing Dragon and Ross. <laughs> see, it's funny when you think when you think about the Yu Gi Oh cards. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, here. but you like know what, fun fact. Is, now, I don't know if it's fun though, but it's a fact. Since y'all brought up Lion King to go with it. Somebody, uh, a researcher, sued Disney for the fucking misconduct of hyenas because of the way that they portrayed hyenas and why. The fuck? How? Yeah. What was it? Because in in Lion King, hyenas are portrayed as like stupid as followers. And hyenas in real life are like very intelligent and shit. And so motherfuckers of a hyena researcher and shit sued. It was a lady. I can't remember her name. She was black. She do nah, I think she was Karen. Yeah, yep. I think so. And she maybe, sued maybe she's part hyena. She sued Disney for the uh the what's it called? Destruction of character or defamement or what's it defamation, called? Defamation, defamation. Defamation of character. Information that came on, on a hyena. On a hyena. And why? Yes. And why? I swear to God, I said, so, I, people will sue for anything these days. I swear to God. I want to apologize. This is back then. This is back then. I want to apologize to all the anime fans before before we um, go on. Um, when yeah, that's facts. Do y'all remember we were talking about Black Air Force Energy um, villains? Yes. Yeah. I feel so bad because we forgot one of the most badass Black Air Force Energy villains of probably all of anime. Who that? The villain from Shaman King. Yes. When I say 
I forgot yeah, about him. That nigga had Black Force energy. True. That man had his own Air Force energy. Like, the, the black is a black. The black of he, he created he had black team energy. And he had black Bro, <laughs> if y'all never seen Sean McKean, I don't care which version you watch. The new one that's on Netflix or the old one. I watched both of them. He. I would pick him over Modern. I'm not mad at you that. I would I pick him over Modern. Nah, Modern always wanted to smoke, though. But Madara always wanted to smoke, though. Madara is also in Anime House 6. I'm going to add fuel to the fire. Since we're talking about Power Rangers, Ivan News also had Black Air Force Energy. That's right. Are you... Are you uh, well... Ivan News. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? Dramatic effect? Power Rangers. Okay. I was like, and I was like, he also had Black Air Force energy. We didn't mention him. Mm. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Power Black Rangers Force energy. I say demons over there. Black Black Air Force energy. You talking about the Green Ranger? Who? Did you not hear me? We you just you. paused. We hear you. Can you, you hear pause me? Now? A little bit. Hold up. No, nobody say nothing until he answers his own question. Hello. Hello. That better? Yes. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Mercy Answer the question, man. <laughs> Can y'all hear me now? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, thank you. No, I don't know what happened. No, I said Ivan Ooze. Oh. I was I like, because we were talking about Power Rangers earlier, I was like, and Fields of the Fire, he also had Black Air Force Energy. I guess yeah. I would. I, I'd probably go the main bad guy from um, Ninja Storm and um, that's the main villain from Donald Thunder. That Black Force Energy. Oh, Donald Thunder yeah. was. Um, I liked his name. What was his name? I liked how his uh, name. Grum, was. No, no, yeah, Grum was it? Grum, I think. No, it was. It started with a D, didn't it? Uh, no way! Shoot. And that was real name was Smitty. I know it was Tommy's old friend. They ended up finding out to the end of the show, but what was it? Mezzagon? You know Anton? Yeah, Mezzagon. There you go. Mezzagon. There you yeah. go. Anton Mercer. That does sound like a villain name. Anton Mercer. I'm surprised he wasn't black. Look, he wanted name Anton Mercer. I don't know if he says he's a black, a white person with a black name. Anton Mercer. Like, he was, was in black. the hood. He was in the hood. Yeah, Mez someone M E S O G O G. You know they be white people in the hood, bro. Yeah, true. It's but I mean, he had yeah, Mezza guy had black. I mean, true. He won a few powers. He was like he bought the smoke at the last episode. Him and who else had that? Um, the Machine Empire, the Zeo villains. Um, shoot, yeah, they fought. No, yeah, that was that was they bought the smoke too. And Diva talks and Power has some low key good Black Force Air Force energy villains too. Low key. But, as a franchise, black power Rangers have a lot of black Air Force energy villains. Not going to lie there. I don't I'm sorry, I can't consider them black Air Force energy unless they just came up. Ivan Ooze came up with the smoke and left them alone. I mean, shoot, we, we talking about black force energy. We're off the psycho ranger shit. <laughs> to a black force energy power ranger. Were they murdering people though? The Pink Ranger Galaxy got murked. That counts. If you not killing people, you it's not black force energy. Well, that's a kid that's, show. It's a kid I mean, show. Like, you can't deny the Green Ranger was not a black air force. Original Tommy, yeah, original Tommy was definitely <laughs> Rita's yeah, Tommy. The only, the only person to beat them out they Megazords. Yeah, that's about as disrespectful as Goku doing that Kamehameha may high on Kefla. That's some disrespect. That's that wasn't even. Good. I'm sorry. That wasn't even disrespectful. I'm. Even, that's my top three commandments. My first one got to be instant, instant transmission command man. That was disrespectful. I thought your first one was barefoot command man. No, it was it was instant transmission. I know, I know, barefoot made your top five for sure. Yeah, it was yeah, that was number four. Number two was on uh, split command man. Okay, what's number the one three? Where he did against Frieza? What's number three? Kefla. Oh, okay. Well, that's the thing. Goku, when he fight, like when he has, when he has when he knows he can win, he's just disrespectful as fuck. He <laughs> is. 
He is, which is so funny because of his personality. Like he's like he's like he doesn't become an asshole until he's fighting and knows he has the advantage. I mean, he stood on Napa's head, did that to Khalifa. Didn't he? And they always biting people too. He bit Freeze on the tail, bit Kid Boo. Hey, they wasn't a real Goku villain unless he bit them. <laughs> did he bite Cell? That's facts. No, he didn't he did not bite Cell. He didn't bite. But that wasn't his villain. That was Gohan's villain. It was Gohan's villain. Hmm, good point. That's a good argument there. Yeah, he has, no, he bit Weiss. I know he bit Weiss. Yeah, that anime. All right. The last thing I wanted to make sure we touched on last is thing? this. Oh, say the best for last. Can I do it since I was the first one to see it? Go for it. Go ahead. We get in Deadpool 3. We get in Deadpool 3. Uh-huh. So... If y'all have not okay, first first and foremost, to anybody who watched it, it is a teaser, not a trailer. Those are two different things. That's but if you have not seen it, it I know it's on TikTok and they posted it on TikTok first. It is Ryan Reynolds talking as Ryan Reynolds about Deadpool 3. And closer to the end of the teaser. Hugh Jackman walks behind him in the background and he asks Hugh Jackman to come back as Wolverine. And Hugh says, Sure, Ryan. And then Whitney Houston starts singing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ever see like uh the you know the little logo or whatever, and it says Hugh something, they're they're playing on words. It's supposed to be you coming or it's coming Hugh. I think it said coming Hugh. Coming Hume or, or and I, I would love Hugh. Yeah. So Hugh Jackman is going to be in the MCU. I yeah. I am so yeah. ready to see how they do this. Yeah. Like it's so many ways they can do it. Because if you remember at the end of Deadpool 2, he was time travel. Yep. That probably we got all this multiverse stuff going on. Like it's so many ways they can bring this to be. They're probably gonna they're probably going to do from what I know they have these Q and A. So it's not the Logan from it's not the Logan from uh, Logan. They have already yeah. Like, they explained that. They that, put the kibosh on that, which I'm, I'm glad the, they did. That's that. in 2029. So a long time away, bro. It's a long time away. <laughs> Seven years. Will that be a lot? <laughs> Shut up. It's long. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, have another black president in seven years. But and I'm gonna be 43 in seven years. Hold on. So, in when when did the millennial start? When did, when did the millennials start? 80 what? 89. I think it's 89 now. 89. Yeah, I think it changed like because it's ex now. So 86. It's 84. It's like eight, I think it's either 85 or 86 when millennial technically starts. So. Technically. That means oh, huh? Six. How old you turn this year, bro? Thirty six. So technically, right now, millennials are eligible to be voted on as president. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it yeah. started in my year. If if it, if it started in eighty six, yeah. Let me look. Let me look it up. Cause once you're thirty, so you're eligible to become president at thirty five. I don't want to do that. Yeah, because you have people that's a cusp saying. between Gen X and Millennials. So that I know I feel like 84 is like right at that cusp. I know I'm like a cusp between Gen X and Millennial. I'm like at the cusp. I'm at the like the definition of millennial. Like when people say millennial, they think of 90s kids. Now that's Gen Z. <laughs> Can't believe this kid asking you was born in the 1900s. Shut up. Now I've been hearing people on TikTok saying late 1900s. I was like. I'm like, you motherfuckers. That's a fight. <laughs> That's right. fighting words. Oh, That's so fighting. millennials start in 81. And okay. And 96. Okay. And then so, Gen Z starts in 97. Okay, that sounds about right. I thought Gen Z was like 95. So okay, we're but- all millennials. Everybody in our group is millennials. Mm-hmm. Sure. I can't talk jump because y'all might jump me. I was gonna say them ninety kids are so vicious. We will jump you. Um, we were nineties kids, but we weren't born in the nineties. That's the anyway, difference. Back right. Well, because we was raised in the nineties. 
Just like yeah, motherfuckers who was in the 80s, they was born in the 70s. It won't be Logan. Logan, Logan. But we do have Hugh. He's been dropping pictures on Twitter and Instagram of him working out, getting back in shape for Wolverine. So Wait, wait, wait. Pause, pause real quick. Pause. Money says she's not a millennial. The last time I checked, she was born in like 89. No, that's border. That's a cuss. She's from, right. That's a cuss. 89 is definitely millennial. We it's, it's 81 to 96. That's millennial. Even my sister, who was younger, she was born in 91, counts as a millennial. Yeah. Thank you, Jumbo. And yes, you are a millennial, money. So back to what you were saying, family. We're not going to worry about that. <laughs> right. uh, but no, I was just saying, uh, he was drop- he's been dropping workout tapes of him in the gym again, getting back in shape from his uh, theatering. First and foremost, I got to throw this out there. For those who don't know, Hugh Jackman's main talent comes from the theater. Just like yep. most, of, most of the good action actors came from the theater. If you didn't know that, so for the people who have something to say, for the people in the back who got something to say about "quote unquote" theater nerds, all y'all can catch the smoke. All of y'all. All of the smoke. All of the smoke. <laughs> and I promise you, you don't. I promise you, don't want it from the panda. I promise that. Honestly, one, one of the I'm best theater actors from what I've from where I'm always heard. My all I'm gonna say is, there's two swords behind me, and there's two swords that you can't see. And there's a gun. You don't hey, want. That, yeah. You don't want the smoke. Because the gun you would have used it's a big ass forty-five. I've got too many gunshots in my days. I don't. I don't, I don't fuck with big ass forty-five caliber. Hey, don't be nothing. I want to end that dog. You ain't gotta go all day. You want the smoke, bro? Hey, go announce the type of gun you got. Come on, come to announce it. Okay. Yeah, you don't announce the type of gun you got. Damn. Yeah, it's a RIA sticks. Nineteen eleven. Okay. Bow, bow. And mute, Bandit, please mute him before he gets before he gets swatted. Right. Like we go, we have to. <laughs> you gonna get swing? Gonna fuck around and get swatted? And he's still going, y'all. Just so you know, I'm watching him in the back. He's still going. Bitch. <laughs> we try to get you from being sniped. <laughs> You in Florida right now? The hurricane too. People might say, "Oh, he got laid right now." Hey, hey, we just finished that shit. Bro. My my but my neighborhood so flooded, bro. I can't uh, go nowhere. He he's getting back in shape for that. So I am I am most definitely getting back in shape. It's We're not talking about you. Shut up. Oh. An interesting uh, look. I, I mean, I Ray Reynolds is getting back in shape. What? Back to how he was from X Men One. No 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 no. He wasn't even in his best shape then. Oh, I know, but I'm just thinking we'll, timeline wise. We'll bring origins. You want that shape? Did he do origins? I, you, did you see the shape that he was in the Wolverine origins? No, no, no. I agree with you as far as his shape. Yes, oh. yes, that was the best shape. But I'm just saying, do you think storyline wise, you think they'll pull him? I mean, they could pull him from origins because I'm thinking I'm trying to think about the Xavier Institute. In the, in oh the no! The so if, if, if how's that fireball? If they, it'll have to be like last stand ish. Well, okay. So I'm I, I don't remember last stand because I I'm not gonna lie, I did not watch last stand. I got over it. Like, mm-hmm. I stopped watching X-Men movies after the one right before that. I was over them. Which one? Class point. X? Sorry. I did watch Apocalypse. But other than that, I, mean, I didn't watch killed, that. They killed the they unkillable the person in first class. I was like, what the hell? That made no damn sense. Listen, listen. I watched first class, too. Yeah, that was I, I, so far, I think the one right. after first class, which is Apocalypse, the, the right? person Apocalypse should never be a Apocalypse is the one after first class, right? Apocalypse. Uh, Apocalypse was the last one, wasn't it? No, Dark Phoenix was the last one. Dark Apocalypse Fate. was before Phoenix. Apocalypse Fate. was not the first, last one. No, I think Apocalypse Dark Phoenix was before Phoenix. Phoenix. So, what's the one that came after First Class? I don't, I don't know. First Class. That's the one that I'm gonna look it up, but that's the last one I saw. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. Address Ryan's appearance in Origins. Hold on, when did he appear in Origins? He was he was dead. Yeah, oh, you did. talking about the actual the fake Deadpool that they created in that one? Yeah, yeah, he was Ryan Reynolds. He was him. Well, yeah, I know that they were those were supposed to be Deadpool, but I'm like, but that wasn't him. 
That's the thing. Like they they off that version, right? Because he technically wasn't Deadpool. Exactly. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, because completely different person, character, all that jazz. So I no, I don't think that they're gonna address. I personally don't think they're gonna address that. I don't. Um, I think that. Okay, so my question, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Deadpool two, the Xavier Institute, the mutants that were still in the house the what is the last x-men movie that you saw where everybody was gone but those that were in the movie in deadpool 2 because i think that might be where they try to line it up at phoenix i mean not phoenix um last thing was the last time i saw colossus it was actually the first time we saw colossus too right So I'm wondering if that's like right after that is what they're looking at, because then they had all the new. They can have all the the kids mutants that are there with Colossus chilling. You know what I mean? That also gives you a huge gap in time before 2029 hits with Logan, the movie Logan. So that's Cable's time frame. That's Bishop's time frame. That you see what I'm saying? Like all that open space. And with Deadpool jumping multiverses now, that's Cable territory. Mm-hmm. I see where you're going. So that could possibly open up where some of that might be coming into play. Okay. So, Days of Future Past is the one that came after first part. Yeah, that's the one where uh, Kitty took, let Wolverine go back in the past to talk to. Yeah. So, Apocalypse is the last one I saw. A lot. It's so you not, didn't see Dark Phoenix? I did not watch. I don't think nobody saw Dark Phoenix. I saw I it. Not, it wasn't I bad. Phoenix. Was it not bad? I heard nothing. About it. I'm not gonna lie. It, so for what it was, it was not as bad as Last Stand. Okay, because okay. Last Stand made, made me want to puke. It. I did though. It didn't make me want to. I did. I did. Last stand was... No, Days of Future Past wasn't Wolverine. That was Origins. I'm talking about Silver... That's Silver Samurai. The one I'm thinking... Like, that was his best shape was when he was in Silver Samurai. With Origins. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, I would love to have seen him pull, if they pull that, if they can get, like, that time frame right there, and that's where they catch him, I would be completely okay with that. I would also love to see a new Sabretooth with um, old boy coming back. Well, first of all, you know how we feel about Sabretooth and X and Wolverine. That's what I'm saying. Hey, can we just applaud the love that Sabretooth had for his brother? To just want to whoop his ass every year for his birthday. <laughs> like, I love it. Uh, it's petty, but it's a pity that most will absorb to. It's a pity that siblings will understand. I don't know. I have a sibling and I still don't understand. But then again, I have a little sister and a brother, so maybe, I, maybe I, I'm out this one. As, an, as the oldest of five, I, of I'm the oldest. oldest. I'm also the oldest. Four boys. Then a girl, then a boy. <laughs> yeah. Most of the oldest. Oh, and my God, sister's coming today. A- the fact that he remembers his brother's birthday every year just so he can go whoop his ass, man. Like, that's what he did every year. No matter where you are on the planet, I'm going to smell you out and find you, bro. Just can we give a shout out to, to the respect that this group gives to Saber <laughs> I know, definitely. Hold on, wait. This, so, this the group, good saber tooth, not the right. first saber tooth. We really, we really oh, acknowledge saber what saber tooth is. A lot of motherfuckers be sleep, but we. Oh yeah, saber tooth would have been like people. The fact that saber tooth bodies Wolverine on the regular every, basis every time, bro. Every time, and then did not get the adamantium. Did not. Like, he was going to. Had he and he did get it at one point and then got rid of it. That's at one point in the comics, he got the adamantium and then said, Eh, I'm cool, and got it removed from him. 
like yeah Shimani said I'm only child. I don't get we, it. We we don't care. We we we've had that discussion. We, uh, you're a lost cause with that. It's a bond thing. It, it's a bond thing. Like it's a I don't know. No like, I, I have a younger sibling, but I, I like I said, I never wondered what part of my mother would kill me. But then again, well, like I said, I have a little sister, so it's probably different. Yeah, you have a sister, it's different. It's the epitome I will, of I will break you, but don't nobody else touch you. It's exactly. That. Have you seen me and Duke go at it? Most oh, yeah. definitely, yes. I if if if, if we had them roles and I was saber too, and he was with me. Oh yes, every birthday, every holiday. It wouldn't even just be his birthday. Every holiday. <laughs> Yo, I had a good time just to think about it. it we, yeah, he no. was in middle school, and me, him, and my other brother had to share a room, but we only had two twins and an air mattress. So what we would do, like, we would just switch out. Everybody would switch bed. Okay. So. He and uh, he was supposed to get the bed because his birthday was the next day, but he fell asleep on the air mattress on the floor. So I took the bed at exactly twelve oh one. My alarm clock wrong. I rolled over out the bed. He had a Fubu shirt, and in the middle of the Fubu shirt was like the big elf with a circle. So you remember the putties from the original Power Rangers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm I straddle him. Happy birthday! Boom. <laughs> Yeah, right then, right then, the little Fubu logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is brotherly love. I'm not gonna lie. Nobody else better do it though. I fought, I fought a female for my brother. What? Now, see, that's why I wouldn't cross. But that's just me. It, right. I would never. I, I never thought I would cross that line. I got sick. I was in middle school, seventh grade. I got sick and I was out of school for three days. And my brother had taken the bus to school by himself. Mind you, he's five years younger than me. And these kids on the bus was taking his stuff, throwing his stuff all across the bus and everything while I was gone. I got back the next day. I told him to sit down in the seat with me. And I said, listen, I ain't been in a couple of days. If y'all missing my brother, y'all missing me. I'm the oldest on the bus, but it was two females who were like a year younger than me. And they got up like, we'll mess with you. I'm like, you put your hands on me and my brother, I promise you're going to be a problem. She okay. slapped me. It was on. Hey, you had to defend yourself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, she got off the bus crying, told the principal. The principal jacked me up, and the bus driver got off the bus said, if this boy ain't on the bus tomorrow, I promise you. Because, you know, in Milwaukee, the school system and the bus system are two different things. Mm-hmm. And she um, he t- she told him, I will cancel your, I will go to the higher-ups and cancel your bus script, and you're going to have to find a way to get these kids to school. There you go. Talking about all the bad kids and how me and my brother don't do nothing. They just be going. Like, they literally went in my bag and stole some of my stuff while I, when I dozed off on the bus. Like, I didn't know. I didn't care, but I used to be quiet, but I stopped being quiet after that. I was the reverse. You was a bully? No. My, my sister used to beat people up. So I used to come to protect my sister when it came to niggas. But and she's five years younger than well, four and a half. But when my birthday comes, it's five until her birthday comes. And I used to beat up all the guys. But my sister, bro, is she literally about to show up? Her flight land in 45 minutes. She used to beat the shit out of every bitch. Didn't matter what age. I pull a chick right now at my age, right, and be like Mariah, beat her ass, and Mariah beat her ass, bro. My sister got hands, bro. She put hands on me. Until I ain't scared of her. Next time she come at me the way she did last time we talked. You should be scared of my sister. I ain't scared of. Her. You should be. Not a mess. Anyway, anyway. But yeah, so that's that is the update. We will keep y'all up to date as far as dates. Right now they're saying twenty twenty four. Is nine twenty four, twenty twenty four. That's phase six. That's a, it's that's September a phase, something. That's a phase six movie. September six, twenty twenty four is what they're saying. Yeah, September right six, twenty twenty four. Mm-hmm. And I hope that we can watch Shayla's on here. So, yeah. yeah, as they come out, we'll definitely be we'll definitely be doing that. Um, but yeah, that that was pretty much that was the last big thing I wanted to touch on. Uh, I know we've been going. That's what she three said. Three hours in. Uh, bump it. But, right. Bump. 
<laughs> oh, he's talking. He's talking to Rod. He's not gonna give me. You know what? Oh, I, I was. I was not looking. Honestly, I was not looking. I was not looking. But myself. No, I was just saying. No, I was just saying. No, I was. I was not looking at my screen. So my bad. He heard what I said, and he he just like he just unconsciously said giggity. <laughs> I was listening, not looking. That's on me. But other than that, we appreciate y'all swinging through. Definitely. Uh, again, next week, as always, we'll be back with more updates, more news. If there's any additional information, of course, we will always keep you up to date. Uh, we will be doing some anime watch parties through the week, so you may catch that'll be on the Discord, so you may catch some of the new seasons that are dropping on Discord. Uh, feel free to grab the link on Twitch uh, if you need it. I think I got it right here. Give me a second. I'll oh, can you put? Don't forget to put your dot um link on Twitch. Uh, I've got my link tree on there, which is for me is the same as my dot. So we should oh. be good. Yeah, my link tree is on my. Uh, hey, if if, if any uh you dot representatives are watching, we don't mind getting a sponsor. You know, we putting people on. Just saying. Mm. Mm. So, I got my dot look, ready to go. Yeah, hope y'all enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in here again. Yes, the fourth is Jay's birthday, so we will be we'll be doing something. We don't know what yet, but we shall do something. Uh, Money got to watch twenty episodes of One Piece. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that to that poor girl. Uh-uh, that ain't right. I can see a movie, but a twenty episodes—that's not fair. Same thing. Oh, you know what? Uh, Other than that, though, you all have a great one. We'll catch y'all later. Enjoy your week. Until next time on Dragon Ball Pandemonium. Yes, sir. (laughs) Pandemonium. (laughs) All right, y'all. We out. Later. We out.